Howdy gamers. I'm Five Nights and she's Freddy's. I'm Freddy's. <laughs> Hello, hi. And together we're the fuck Five off no Fredlets. <laughs> the fuck off Fredlets. Uh So we're playing the first Five Nights at Freddy's fan game. Yeah, which I actually like know nothing about, so this is exciting. We need a person to shoot down all the Freddy Fazbear robots. You must have past experience of killing robots to apply for this job. <laughs> this is a picture of the fuzzy bastard. Shoot him right in the eyes, then rip his head off and chop off the robot head. Watch out for the yellow bear. He is so deadly that you don't even really see him. The pay is not referring to the bite of 87. <laughs> so this is the first five minutes of Freddy's fan game. <laughs> Uh, there might be one earlier that was posted to Scratch that is long gone, but this is the first- This is not what I was expecting. This is the first playable Five Nights at Freddy's fan game. Uh, Jesus Christ. So welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, apparently. Uh, chat, how is our uh, audio levels, by the way? Hopefully good. Hopefully good. Hello, my baby. My wife gave me a little kiss on the head. That's why I said that. Holy shit, it's Freddy Fazbear! I, I, yeah, I mean, I guess that's Freddy Fazbear. I mean, that's what he looks like. I, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 fuck, it's getting closer. Okay. So this was a game what uh, engine is this made on? So it is made on the first person shooter, uh, like... This is basically just a test map and all the, the kid did was put in a Freddy model. Gotcha. Uh, so, there is a tank, but we can't get in the tank, I'm sorry. They also can fly now. We're... Fazbear Industries has gotten the new fucking tech. Uh, what is the um, chancing? I'm not too sure. Right. Also, yeah, we will be. I don't know if it'll be today, but we will be playing. We will probably Treasure get to Treasure Island. Island at some point. So, can you uh, quickly check the spreadsheet and tell me when this game was released? Yeah. Um. I I really love looking back at our DMs with each other and just seeing there we like go. there we go sexy woman spring trap. In yeah, my... we'll get to that. <laughs> More on that later. Yeah, more on that later. Put a pin in that. Watch the space. Um, what is this game called again? Uh, the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Massacre. So it is also the first game to have the Freddy Fazbear's, uh, moniker. Okay, uh, this was made November 6, 2014. So, uh, that is, if I remember correctly, <laughs> five days before FNAF 2 came out? Oh man. This is one of the two or three FNAF fan games to have come out before FNAF 2, which is Damn. Freddy Fazbear, which is a fucking insane when you pretty realize- Pretty speedy, TBH, because that game came out like two seconds after the first yeah, one. Yeah, FNAF 1 came out in August of 2014 and FNAF 2 came out in November. So basically, any FNAF fan game would have had to been have to have found FNAF within the first two months and have popped out an entire fucking game in those first two months. <laughs> it is a kind of insane turnaround. And uh, this game was made, Freddy Fazbear's Peace of Massacre, was made because the kid who made it <laughs> was kept getting fucking beat in Five Nights at Freddy's on the last night. So he gave up because he kept getting scared. <laughs> so we wanted to make a game where he could shoot Freddy. He had his own little airman Gatos and I with Freddy Fazbear. All right, can I can I get up this? <laughs> I wonder how old the kid who made this was, and if he had any idea what kind of history he was making. I. It is it is insane. So there is maybe one earlier FNAF game, and that is mm. a a scratch game that was posted with a date um, uh, in August. Uh, okay. And Scratch is a, I'm sure a lot of FNAF fans would be familiar with it because that's how a lot of 
FNAF I'm children not. had to bootleg fan games while they were at school. Oh. <laughs> Scratch is a coding website to like teach young kids uh, how to right, code. Right, yes. And so kids would make under the radar to both their teachers and to um, Scratch, because Scratch would ban them. Uh, <laughs> FNAF fan games. Uh, so you could play FNAF games in the school computer lab. So cute. It is It is so cute. So cute. All right. Oh, pick up key. Cool. One of my favorite videos of all time is like a really long winded, uncharismatic video of a child showing how to pirate Minecraft. We just got paid $20 for the bite of 87. We did it. Cool. We, we, we did the bite of 87. We did it. We did the thing. This is the thing that everybody likes about FNAF is the bite of 87. Yeah. Do well, you think, did he Did he make that Freddy pixel art on his own, do you think? I have no clue. Man. So, so many mysteries. Five okay, Nights so at Freddy's. <laughs> Since Five Nights at Freddy's. we have last seen this spreadsheet, I have not finished it, but gone pretty fucking in depth in it. And uh, May has literally been like the what is that meme from? The guy like pointing at the conspiracy board. Is that yeah, yeah, always, always sunny. sunny. Yeah, it's always sunny. I'm I'm okay. I'm on my fucking Pepe Sylvia grind set. Yeah, yeah. I uh. Five minutes at Freddy's. So there's every also time she sends it to me in May, it gets like bigger, and she's like, "I spent hours in the mines." Hazel just stopped acknowledging it, <laughs> and I'm just like, "Power on, brave so, soldier." So about this scratch game, I I need everyone to be prepared for. Okay. The most arcane YouTube video I've ever watched. I found this at 4 a.m. <laughs> Scrap what I said. This is the oldest Scratch, F Scratch FNAF fan game, I think, uh, on a channel with 100 views and 70 subscribers. Uh, okay. So buckle in. Uh, Alyssa, do you have capture? Okay. Yes, I do. Cool. I, I am watching. Just as I was about to take a rest I'm from viewing. this issue, it seems another massive discovery has been made. Yesterday, I released a video detailing my finding <laughs> that was what I thought to be the oldest Scratch FNAF fan game I don't and know even if I have FNAF audio, fan though. game in general up. in history. I was wrong. Mm, Moments does not after seem the video like I have was audio. done premiering, someone who I know bubbled I will this send it screenshot. To you. Apparently his friend had found this game a while back that was released in- So this is the only documentation of this uh, Scratch game because Scratch has changed their site and the GitHub that was hosting it is now down. 2014. Huh. And Bubble forgot about it until but this video. But first was shared August was 27th, yeah, 2014. However, is it worth the release? This is potentially right here, the first Five Nights at Freddy's fan In game. August of 2014, as seen here. Crazy. August. So, so wait, when that did FNAF 1 come out again? FNAF, FNAF 1 came out, uh, let's see here. Wasn't it like July 2014? August 8th. Oh, how did they make it so fast? That's the fucking child brain on Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, but like, did anyone even you know what, like... Okay, right so like, here. when did the, the first big Let's Play of the first FNAF come out? Because it blew up pretty fast. Yeah, anyway, was there was about one or two people that covered it beforehand. There was a guy who, um... I forget his name, it is blanking me off the top of my head, but there was a guy that covered Scott's previous games, most importantly, The Desolate Hope. Right. Uh, who right. got early access to Five Nights at Freddy's. Right. Uh, and his videos did decent, but not the best. Uh-huh. August 12th is when Markiplier first played FNAF. Okay, okay, okay. So, two weeks. Two weeks was the half-life to start that Flash, uh, sorry, that Scratch game. <laughs> which is fucking insane. Yeah. That is a speed that I'm enamored by. Yeah, but, click um, on the draw. There is another Five Nights at Freddy's fan game. A Five Nights at Freddy's bootleg that I am very, very, very excited to show you before we finish FNAF 1 and go to FNAF 2. Oh, one, something special about it? One Night Two Crazies was <laughs> the first Five Nights at Freddy's console game. Huh? How? One Night Two Crazies is a Xbox Live Arcade fucking masterpiece. 
Wow. I didn't, oh, I wasn't under the impression. Oh. Did it just open and immediately crash? Is that what I just saw? I think we did. It is also labeled 10 scary nights on its uh, <laughs> Windows file, which is notably not its name. <laughs> All right. Yeah, a crazy nights moment. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can rock this. Come on, 10 scary nights. All right, does chat Please. see this? Chat, can you see? Automatically smashed my uh, monitor to 720p. <laughs> and welcome to One Night Two Crazies. <laughs> We're your hosts, crazy and crazier. Chris, thanks so much for volunteering. I mean, to try out my new security this is kind of cute. The phone I guys saw this. Cool oh, I I'm still not getting you any audio from, from you. I will fix it up in this game. Keys. Whatever okay. that means. Oh, it says that you can check the door and back with the <laughs> Do you think these are just key? photos of this Maybe person's parents' now. house? Yes. Finish reading okay. Blah, 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 in case of like, I, I, I blah, figured blah, there was a chance injury, it was stock blah, blah. photos, oh, but uh, it's you funnier can close if it's and personal. Open the door next to you with the space key. Again, this is gibberish to me, but maybe you'll understand it. Oh, and one more thing. Looking into that hallway and keeping the door shut will slowly cause you to lose your mind. If you lose all your sanity, then you'll be completely defenseless. Okay, so take a look at the front door. I'll be sneaking okay, in. Okay, I don't know how. What is the enemy in this? The room until the security system it's a crazy guy. Alerts the cops. But <laughs> come. we haven't seen him, have we? Duh! It's the oh. scary. Oh, that is the scary. <laughs> it's it's Mr. One Night One Crazy. Oh, fuck, he moved. <laughs> You think that's his brother or something? I think that's him. Cause that's also like the phone wearing, guy. Wearing his like practice mask for for school. But where where is he? Oh, there he is in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm not too sh not too sure how to move, which is gonna cause problems. I'm just gonna spam keyboard presses until something happens. Yeah, that'll be good. <laughs> oh, that's the scary. You failed. That's the scary. You just got crazied. I just got one night one crazied. So I had this <laughs> game as a kid on Xbox Live Arcade because I wanted to play FNAF and I only had a, a console. Oh my god. The thought of this being the, the Freddies we have at home. This is, this is one night two crazies. Wasn't wasn't the first FNAF free, or did it cost money? Uh, I believe it was $8. I, I could be wrong. Okay, okay. I mean, fair enough. Children are broke yeah, pizza and don't sit. have credit cards. Well, this was also a few bucks, but it was a few bucks on Xbox. Right. Which is notably different. Well, you could... Children can get, like, Xbox video cards game for Christmas. console they can't cards. Get, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, am I gonna learn how to look to the, do I have to control, port my fucking controller on for this? Oh, I did it, I did it, it's tab. Oh. There was a free demo, it's such a short game. What's there to even demo? I think the demo was the first night or two. Oh, okay, fair enough. Oh, that's the sandy meter. That's the, that's the Spider-Man cum jar. Stop. So I kind of love this game. Like it's not you? good, uh, to be clear, uh -huh. but it is, um, yeah, it's, it has that point and click realness. I remember playing this game being like, oh my God, you can just make a video game. Like yeah. this was made in the span of two months and it was just pictures of someone's house. Literally the <laughs> only graphics that aren't pictures are the text and the little map graphic and the little glass graphic. Mm -hmm. It is very sweet. It, uh, there's something about this game that really appeals to me. Like uh, Chris Antoni, I believe his name is, is uh, the guy who did all of these Xbox Live. Is that the Golden Freddy? 
Oh my god, this game has a golden Freddy. Oh, the golden crazy. Oh my god, this is just like my childhood home. <laughs> the golden crazy? No, the, the golden crazy. No, in the your bugs in my home? face. Oh. Yeah. Um. <laughs> but this, there's something about this game that really fucking appeals to me. It also beat motherfucking swagless fuck ass Flumpty to the one night trend. Oh the, yeah, yeah. This was the first FNAF fan game to do one night. I forgot that Flumpty was a thing. <laughs> So like, I forgot what I was gonna ask. It's true what Ratatouille said, anyone can cook. Anyone can cook. Holy shit, it's the crazy. But only the brave make one night it crazy. <sighs> he got, he got me. Get crazy, on. This Stupid. coming out less than two months after FNAF 1 is like, they were on the wave. Yeah, there are a lot of Xbox Live indie games that are my childhood. There are a few that we're going to cover <laughs> on these streams, a few that we cannot. Um, watch this space for sexy exorcist gameplay. Um, <laughs> but uh, this rocks. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, <laughs> I quite like this, honestly. I think that its weirdness is to its benefit. This is the Blair Witch 2 of Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, you're literally holding doors closed before Five Nights at Freddy's 4. No, I, I know this game has like permeated in my thoughts, because I remember when I was working my terrible job that I tweeted about recently, that, that merchandising job. <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. While I was, oh my god, it's Golden Freddy. Uh, when I was like absentmindedly uh, just like working, I would imagine game visuals that would just be like FMV <laughs> pictures of what I was doing. Because there's something about a wall of fucking generic candies that all kind of blur together after a while that does make like an appealing uh, visual of some sort. Yeah. My equivalent to that is when I was on a swim team, I used to pretend I was Banjo-Kazooie swimming in the water. Did it make you better at swim? Yeah. I'm glad. Thank you. <laughs> the bugs in your face effect is really funny. <laughs> oh, bro, is that the scary? I think I just juked the scary. Did you, or did the game free? Oh, no, that's just the visual. Oh, effect. shit. Oh, the sh- Yeah, because you have a scary. sanity bar. <laughs> oh, I see, I see, I see. Also, yeah, I also have um a sauce <laughs> bar for <laughs> FMV games. Yeah. I, uh, I don't think I've ever seen anyone beat this first night. I uh, assume it must be possible, but I'm not I'll actually sure. <laughs> The crazy of 61st. Um, someone asked when we're going to listen to FNAF fan songs. We kind of already did while we were streaming we have been, Ruin. We'll probably get to it again, uh, but they might not be in the VODs because I am now in a world where I can get copyright claims and I have monetization and it's big sad. Um, yeah, it would be nice if May could th that make FNAF a little Ruin bit of money. That would be a real good uh, like slow burner if I didn't get claimed for playing that Living Tombstone Sister Location song. God damn it. It's okay. It's okay. Sad. It's almost like we listened to a song and did nothing else or constructive around <laughs> it for five minutes straight. You know, fair enough. <laughs> Sometimes they have a case, et cetera, et cetera. I also love this shitty ass fucking laptop and how it is wall plugged for this. Cause it probably yeah. wouldn't even fucking survive long enough couldn't to get a picture survive. of it. <laughs> yeah, thing just insta dies. Bless you, my wife. I also love the little shitty Nvidia sticker on it and the Windows sticker and the Dell sticker. So cute. It's so cute. <laughs> Oh, 
Also, yeah, it is a good problem to have, but Hazel mentioned earlier, I am having problems keeping up with chat. And that's that's good. That's crazy, but that's good. <laughs> yeah, I actually have, like, not really been looking at chat. It's also hard to much. play a Fredericks game. Um, yeah. They really need full attention. I'll try to be better about reading interesting chat messages to you. Is that a Jesus? Oh my god, I think that's Jesus. Oh, they're so Catholic. I love the big pink yoga ball that has been, like, <laughs> given life for all eternity by being put into one night two crazies. Oops. Someone in chat said, I had this laptop and I accidentally snapped the space bar in half while cleaning it. Yeah, Catholic versus Christian. I love how he's like just wearing a normal sh suit. I'm sorry, a normal shirt. Like that is just a shirt mm -hmm. that he owns. There's no character oh, yeah. there. I mean, the fuck kind Holy of- Holy shit, we survived night one hey. of Ed's crazies. The fuck kind of budget for making one night at crazies do you think this guy's got? Oh shit, there's a night two? Oh. Okay, so this wasn't well, the first to do one night. The system is performing rather well, and you're doing Hazel great under pressure. Or Hazel May Granted, had her naff lore wrong. My friend here is also going to try sneaking around the security system. Oh, now we have two crazies. Oh, there's scarier. two crazies now? Be fine, though. Watch the door. Here he comes now. Are they friends? Yeah, like, I, think what's... It's, I think it's like a yaoi thing. <laughs> Holy shit, it's the spider! Oh! Okay, that's kind of cute, because they had to have made that, right? Oh, ah! <laughs> yes, I did know about the, the spider. The spider is a very uh, common recurring element in his games. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. I need a weird common recurring element in my games like that. Well, that could be the sexy dog. <laughs> okay. My sexy dog isn't in any of my games, though. Not yet. You could back Not yet. <laughs> I go back and I edit my first visual novel that nobody has played, even though it is still conspicuously on my itch.io. I should stream that game sometime and talk about all the stuff I would change if I rewrote it. <laughs> uh, the bugs are a sanity feature thing. I think they're yeah. just to fuck with you to get you. To yeah, those them. are the those are the Benadryl spiders or whatever the Dayquil spiders. It honestly <laughs> rocks that I am finding a consistent pattern. Yes, I horror game virus stories are the like. I remember installing uh, what I hoped was the f uh, Slender, the arrival on my family <laughs> laptop. Uh, but instead it was a Trojan virus and I oh. bricked the family laptop because I really wanted to play Slender. Oh, I was really Hold mortally on. terrified. Night three phone of... call. Oh, okay. All right, I can't hear it. So let me know when it's done. Things by having both of us come in at once. Yeah, where's the living tombstones the crazy song? <laughs> Five nights at crazy. Um, oh. Get crazy on, stupid. I got crazy on. I got real crazy on. Good ass got crazied. I got crazy on so hard. Please tell me it didn't restart me tonight, one. Oh. I would I would do the the cry. <laughs> um, I was really mortally terrified of viruses, but my family were Mac loyalists, so I never actually downloaded a virus until, uh, <laughs> like a few years ago. Uh, door. I wanted, I wanted to borrow Hazel's computer to uh, ah! play, to play a vampire yuri visual novel that was only on windows Aww, um funny. and i instantly downloaded like malware like instantly like the first Half thing the... i tried to download is he peeing what is oh, oh is he... i shouldn't have seen that i don't think i was supposed to see that that wasn't for me um 
Yeah, I, I have probably downloaded uh, like a few Trojans working on this project, but there's also the problem that every click team game, like every click team fan game gets improperly grabbed right. by uh, yeah. virus scanners. But also yeah. I've downloaded a bunch of Google Drive links of games that are now deleted. So mm -hmm. the chance there's going to be some Russian dude streaming from this account by the end of this series is not <laughs> unlikely. <laughs> Watch this space. When Malachi McDougal fucking streams from this computer, let him have it. Let him have it. It's his. <laughs> He's earned it. He earned it, literally. This is one night two crazies, and currently we're on night three. <laughs> oh my god, that's such a cute spider cam. <laughs> All right, finish your gay uh, vampire I story. badly need to know how they made it. Oh, no, that's it. I tried to download a vampire Yuri, gave Hazel a virus, got scared, and gave up. I love how you could still... Ah! I, I love how you could still see the um, the sticker on their trash can. Oh, they didn't even take it off right after getting it from, like, Walmart. Me as fuck. <laughs> uh, the first thing I do when I buy anything dude, is what the fuck the stickers is the shot? Off. This is actually cracked. The basement? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> the fake blood. Cute. Oh, we're fucked. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I'm very charmed by this, honestly. This is a good uh one of, a child member figure. says, one of my first childhood memories is my dad's friend coming over to America for the first time. Ended up watching gay porn on our Dell brick <gasps> of a computer and getting a virus. And me just trying to play on the Barbie website, but I couldn't. What the fuck visits friends in another country and watches gay porn on their computer? Someone who's fucking enlightened. I guess so. When you get off a 12 hour plane line, for your first thing is, I love men. <laughs> Fuck yeah, brother. Good for you, I guess. I'm I'm honestly trying to find if there's any continuity, like things in these shots, like where the, the creatures are, if the lighting is any different. Because they might have had yeah. to shoot this fucking game in like an hour oh. so they didn't lose the lighting. That's cute. Which doesn't seem hard, but also seems fun. Yeah, damn, this game does have peek around the door shit. They fucking beat Scott to his own game. Nice. We beat the crazies. We're pretty sane still, too. How many knights are there? I guess four. Huh. All right, the phone call. So don't be mad. Give me the but TLDR. I, think I broke one of the cameras by accident, of course. I wouldn't want to give myself an advantage to test you. And oh my god, that's down. so cute. Anyway, I think you should be really careful because we're both coming in the house and one of your cameras is not working right now. So just be careful, maybe check what is the door it? a little more than you're used to. The kitchen to. camera's remember, broken. Remember, your sanity oh, will I drain see. if you hold it shut or are looking in the hallway. That's also really cute, because that's what the, the FNAF 1 has, where the kitchen camera's down. Yeah, yeah. I also need you to find the Steam page for this game real quick, just to check that it is called One Night and not One Week. Yeah. Because I'm like 99% uh, sure it's called One Night, but there's five nights. One Night at Crazy. One Night Two Crazies. Oh, One Night Two Crazy. It's like a Two Girls One Cup sort of thing. Two. It honestly oh, does have the name game on lock. It is titled both like a FNAF game and like a murder tape. Oh my god, I can't find this. I'm gonna have to open our document again. It Hold is on. on Steam. I can't find it. <laughs> I'm getting recommended, like, songs. It does over-deliver. Holy shit, it's Golden Freddy. Wait. Oh, crazies. One night, two crazies. Yeah, it's been one week since you looked um. at me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, It's got a seven on Steam, not bad. Not bad? Seven out of ten. Uh, yeah, One Night, Two Crazies is the title. Huh. Yeah, I... The more I play, the less confident I grow on that name, but I do know that this is the FNAF, the first uh, Xbox FNAF fan game, because I remember this coming out. 
I was there in the trenches when this released. <laughs> so, like, was this build as being a FNAF fan game, or did they kind of lampshade it? It's, I mean, it's lampshaded because they couldn't say that they were a FNAF fan game because they weren't sure if they're going to get sued yet, if I remember correctly. Right. Right. Also, because I'm noticing that the Steam page seems to like kind of be talking about it like it's just its own thing. What if the feed to the cameras is slower than normal? Like, let's say, I don't know, 100 percent. Also, which like is fine. There's more original ideas in here than there are in the average FNAF fan game to be real. Faster. I think the combination would be a great test on the system, and it'll keep you on your toes. Yeah, I'm sure this was inspired by it, as in they saw FNAF 1 and they're like, holy shit, I want to make this, and I can make yeah. this. Also, TL, TLDR, the cameras are delayed and they move faster. Oh. I am also very glad that they did have a phone guy in this game. <laughs> I think that is, that is the true quintessential FNAF sauce that they don't tell you about. It's true. Like you said, you played this as a kid, then, right? Yes, yeah, I have it on my Xbox 360 somewhere. If I break it out, that's so cute. I yeah, uh, I play I... basically mostly only the free Xbox Live Arcade games, but I would get some Whoa. some cards and I would spend them on like Minecraft and and games that were coming out. <laughs> but also, I bought Castle Miner Z to play with friends, which was a proto Minecraft before Minecraft was on Xbox that had guns oh, and wow. dragons. Uh, Aww. I bought the sexy exorcist because it kind of <laughs> looked like Castlevania and had boobs in it. Uh, I was a simple girl. And, uh, Brave of you. And then I bought this. Okay, okay. And then I had like the Doritos Crash Course Challenge because every broke kid had the Doritos Crash Course Challenge because it was free. What is that? Uh, the Doritos Crash, Crash Course Challenge is a like platformer game. Oh. Cool. Oh, that was easy. I wonder if the knight also was moving fast. Oh my god, there's a knight six. All right, phone call. How about instead of focusing on the camera so much, we focus on the operator this time? Let's try doubling the amount of sand. Is that that I can't hear the phone calls? Every time you try to keep that door shut or peek into the hallway. I honestly love that this guy is just giving us like patch notes. Um, Cause you see basically the sandy meter has been doubled. So we go <laughs> insane twice as fast. Yeah, I remember no Luca no. I remember basically all of the Xbox Live arcade games. I just don't remember. Um, I don't have an Xbox 360 around anymore so I can't easily pull them out and play them for a stream. Uh, I've considered whipping one out so I can also show my old Destiny 1 save, because that's also relevant to me and Dem's Destiny streams. I can show how deep in the trenches mm. I was, because I was a Destiny 1 uh, Xbox 360 player. I like literally don't even know what Destiny's gameplay looks like. Uh, It's like if every shooter game was good, actually. It's like crack cocaine. <laughs> ah! It's like crack cocaine. <laughs> And uh, there will be gun shooting in this FNAF series. Maybe not in this stream, but there will be. <laughs> Man, the fact that I like just was not up on FNAF fan games makes the stream so exciting for me. Yeah, I uh, I know a lot of the early ones. I don't know too many of the later ones, but I part of what inspired the stream was going through a rabbit hole of watching a bunch of modern. FNAF fan game YouTubers. And not to talk shit, coming to the conclusion that a lot of them kind of suck. Like... To be fair, these are hard games to commentate over. Yeah. Like... Just, just people that kind of maybe don't like that they're doing this. Like, they don't have passion uh, for it. Oh, I see, uh, I see. And or all of the their friends in the community are the worst people in the community. Um, yeah. And I don't think this is going to be the change to it, but there are certain games we're not covering intentionally, and there are certain games I do want to cover that aren't part of the, the wider understood canon 
uh, mm -hmm. of like the FNAF fan games because <laughs> I love the spider jump scare. It's, it's so, so funny. I think it's because I think because I I, I want to do with these streams like we've been doing with Sonic. Uh, playing, I want to play fan games alongside the main games and make very mm -hmm. clear that even if they did not directly inspire future uh, official games, <laughs> they are still important and were still an important part of the culture at the time. And that they inspired other fan games and they inspired how people talked about the main games. Because Five Nights at Freddy's had a like cringe culture uh, perception for the longest time. I, I know it still does in some spaces. And what people don't think about is it's not just the official games. And it's not just kids being kids. It is the third thing of people seeing uh, fan games and imitations and ripoffs and adding that to their cultural knowledge of FNAF, if that makes sense. I think that's part of it. I also think a lot of it was just overexposure aggression. Oh, like, yeah, of course, of Scott, course, of course. Scott definitely seemed to think he had hit lightning in a bottle, made as many games as fast as he, he could. He made four games he, in less than a year, which is he was fucking insane. Probably afraid to lose that spark by the time, you know, people had lost There was also in a it. book by the end of it. He he went fucking yeah. insane in that first He went year. sicko mode. He pumped out a lot of games. Merch followed and very quickly, like, people kind of viewed it as a sellout, even though I, I think he was just striking while the iron was hot. Yeah. Um, and then the games kind of, And then like, there was a billion fan games but... immediately, so there's it's ex overexposure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I want to cover yeah. all of that. Yeah. Yeah, I was all over, so I, I get people getting tired of it, but for me, I was like, <laughs> Frederick. I like never, my love for FNAF never wavered. I loved it from day one, and I never stopped watching the games and being excited for more. I fell off around FNAF 4, and then I got back around uh, when Security Breach came out. Did the game just bug? <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm children in FNAF shirts. I am also children in FNAF shirts. I tried to buy that Springtrap shirt and it charged my card $100 and didn't send it to me. What the fuck? Uh, it, 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 it charged back. Uh, but Hot Topic, please. I would like to have my Springtrap shirt. I think I would look kind of cute in it. Um, fuck? Yeah, the, like the, the, the transaction failed to go through every time I went for it. Uh, oh. And at first they weren't charging me back. Ugh. So for uh, like a brief hour, I had just sunk a hundred dollars on a shirt I wasn't even getting, and I'm still I'm not still getting the shirt. I'm still waiting for mine. I'm still waiting for mine. For some <laughs> reason, my browser cannot purchase the Springtrap shirt. Maybe it, it, it smells the FNAF fan on me. Uh, I think that Hot Topics website is just fucking shit. Probably. Yeah. I like I I went into Firefox, went into Chrome, did different accounts and logs it logins, and just oh. internally it wasn't for me. I like can't even check what the status on my shirt is because I don't think I made a hot topic account. Oh no. So when I go to check on it, it's like we want you to log in. Let's see, maybe. Did I make an account? Also unrelated to all of this, my hand has been my left hand has been really hot all day. Like like I cut peppers earlier and for some reason my hand has been like burning because of it and i do not know why uh so huh. please know i'm being very strong and very brave right now i keep <laughs> dunking my hand in cold water when i'm Aww. not like uh, doing May. something it hurts really bad and i don't know why i'm so sorry i've had a, I've had a slightly busy day i've been on a, another cat adventure yeah i will update uh chat on that the second i'm no longer in this this final exciting night yeah Okay, apparently I do have a password, so maybe I have a login. Um, who's this? I am braver um, than the troops. Thanks for acknowledging, chat. Truthfully, I uh, just... I spent 14 hours yesterday getting the fan game part of the spreadsheet complete. Oh shit. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Okay, I still have my order. No Please. ETL on one at Sunday. Is it going to time out? How does this work? 
Oh no, it's the scary! Stop! It's the scary! The scary! <gasps> oh, nice. Arr, 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 arr! Wait, the sanity at zero? Oh, I oh, thought it was an like... insanity meter. So sanity was at zero. Was, does that mean you were full crazy? Yeah. Hey, just want to give you a heads up. The spider guy, he wants to go a lot faster this time. He thinks we've been going way too slow and taking our time. Oh, speaking of How many which, fucking knights are there? In the house. This is night seven, and hopefully, probably realistically, the final night. Unless it went above and beyond and fucking kicked Scott's ass. I also it keep seeing the spider monster as uh, Dr. Octopus from Spider-Man. I hope they made back their... Oh my god, the window was called 10 Crazy Nights. Oh my god, does that mean there are 10 nights? <laughs> if there's actually 10 nights, what if there's a third crazy, Alyssa? I mean, how much crazier can it get? <laughs> what if it ends on eight crazy nights, though, and we have to stew in that? Yeah, the third cra <laughs> ah, the third crazy is the girl watching the stream. Hi, Laren. You in the chair at home. Hi. Laren's here, yay! Did me mentioning Dr. Octopus summon you? <laughs> That's fucked. <laughs> oh. I didn't see. The brochure said there'd only be two crazies. I haven't been reading chat too much because, to be honest, aside from glancing up at the gameplay, I've been styling a doll wig. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> how's, how's your week then, Alyssa? My week? Um, that's a good question. How has my week been? Aww, me too. Okay, Queen. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I my have friend... had, like, one of the best weeks, but also, like... Yeah. It has the, the potential to nosedive at any second. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> ah. I hope it doesn't. Ah. I hope they made that entire spider outfit all by themselves. I hope so, too. I don't think they did, but I hope so, too. It is probably one believe. of those Walmart direct uh, decorations just with someone's head mm. stuck in it. <laughs> um, I went over to our, our local friends on Saturday because my hair was getting super duper long and I have heat styled it too much without protection, so it was really fried. Um, in addition to me bleaching it and stuff a whole bunch. So yeah. I was like... From your shadowification. I, yeah, yeah. I, I, she had mentioned before that she wanted to learn how to cut hair, but was kind of like bemoaning the fact that there's no way to do that without having friends willing to sacrifice themselves as guinea pigs. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and I was kind of like, you know what? Fire. At this point, my hair is so long and so fucked up. Like, you can cut my hair, and even if you fuck it up really bad, I'll just, like, cut it short, you know? Like, yeah. it's... Uh, no skin off my nose, so... Cut, cut you I... a medium, so if she fucks you up so bad, you can cut it short. Yeah, yeah, so I, I volunteered as tribute. <laughs> and halfway through cutting my hair, she just, like, very somberly is like, I have fucked this up so bad. I am oh. so sorry. <laughs> And honestly, I was not stressed out at, at it at all. I was just no. Don't worry. After this, I have finally, at long last, bought heat protection spray. The thing is, I did have a bottle of heat protection spray, but it smelled like melted plastic, like it always did. So I hated using it. So I just didn't use it. But I didn't have the heart to like throw it out or get new ones because I was like, that's wasteful. So my, my solution was to destroy my hair instead. Oh, honey. Um, anyway, so I, I was like, no skin off my nose walker. if you were in it. Like, I'm really not worried about it. I can't um, even see what that dog walker was. Oh, is that them? What if FNAF Freddy smoked weed? I What if he smoked weed? I don't think he'd like if it. If he smoked weed. Uh, and then by the end, she was like, okay, I, I feel like I'm 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 bringing it together. Did she I feel like fuck it, it up? Yeah, yeah, I think she just had, like, a, a little crisis of faith halfway through. 
<laughs> I was like, I'm not worried about it if it's not great, but I, I I'm actually I really, good. I'm really happy with it. Uh, oh. I didn't take the best photos of it. It, I feel like it's cuter in real life. Um, in fact, I, I think I replied I, slay so with Thank twelve Y's when I saw it, if I remember correctly. <laughs> I'm kind of rocking if, like, Shane from the L Word had layers that looked a little better in her hair. And Shadow the Hedgehog. And Shadow the Hedgehog. Yeah, so this stream um, is probably going to be mostly FNAF fan games. Uh, probably finishing FNAF 1 and then tabbing into FNAF 2 so we have an excuse to play more fan games. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Maddie, I'm also really particular about my hair. Night night, I, baby! I I've, I've mentioned this on stream before, but I Funk, had Funk, a... Huh? All right, Spider-Man oh. was... I, I can't awesome. hear it! I don't got game audio! How about both of us come at you at varying speeds. I'll go slow, he'll go fast. See how you do. <laughs> yeah, the two genders are the two crazies. Sure, Maddie. Yeah, what crazy are you? Tag yourself. Are you spider or hockey guy? I'm spider. Oh, yeah, I think I'm probably spider, and I think most people... I think the spider is cuter than I think the most people guy. want to be a spider, but some people are regrettably hockey guy and they just need to accept that about themselves. But I think there's plenty of hockey guy for hockey guy relationships out there in the it's world yelly. too. That's yeah, beautiful. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> spider for spider is, is, is uh, Yuri. Yuri. And then, yeah, hockey guy for hockey guy is Yowie. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I agree. And not even like gender wise, just emotionally, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Loveland Isle used ad permitted term honky. <laughs> I love these streams. <laughs> so, what were you saying before I rudely cut you off? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so evil and everyone hates me and I'm going to be executed in the town square for my misdeeds. Homie, it's just like if I don't say something, the second it pops into my head, it's gone forever. My memory is so bad. You're like the goldfish at the beginning of Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Massacre. Was there a goldfish? Yeah, there's a goldfish. Oh. Oh, I was going to say, there was a second where I had a bald spot on my head and it was like giving me... The ego death of a lifetime. I don't think the spider ascribes to top or bottom. I think it just loves. The hockey guy's a bottom, though. Yeah. Yeah, I am very particular about my hair. If anything happened to it, uh, I'd retire that day. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking live in a cave for the rest of my life. Well, I, I guess the thing that made that realization funny for me was I've always thought I felt at peace at the idea of getting older and losing hair and whatever, whatever. Like, I'm vain, but I was oh like... Oh my god, the toilet paper's mid-tear. <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm vain, but I have a wife. Like, who do I have to impress these days other yeah, I than get, I get, my I wife? I have a bitch. I don't have to worry about getting them. Life yeah, yeah, good. yeah, yeah. So, uh, losing a tiny bit of hair and having the realization, like, oh no, I'm so much more vain than I thought I was. <laughs> yeah, I uh, <laughs> was a little shocking. <laughs> I pretend I'm not. And then I get really neurotic about specific elements. You know what's irrationally annoying me about this game now that we've been playing it for a while? Now that we're eight crazy nights in? Now that yeah, Adam's now that we're eight here, crazy nights in. <laughs> is uh, the weird little black speckle of something on the left side of the desk. Hold up, let me, let me look at it. Oh that. my god, that is just a piece the of The fuck dirt. is that? Let's fucking rock. Sweep her desk off. 
the spider isn't in the other FNAF game this dev made. Parentheses Frightlight, which is on the spreadsheet. Uh, oh, nice. I think the spreadsheet is in a form where it can be shared publicly. I will have to check. Is it? Alyssa, can I you check like that, I kind of like having it be a mystery, though. Uh, yeah. I, I, like I think the only reason with it being public would be to fill in any mistakes I'm sure I made. Eh. We can correct ourselves as we go along, I'm sure. No one in here is, like, a particularly enormous FNAF fan game history buff. And if they are, they can help correct us. Yeah, a lot of the, 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 the 14 hours yesterday were um, finding games, finding release dates, finding other games made by those devs. <laughs> But then falling down rabbit holes that at the end of them, I, I emerged and was like, all right, I don't need to discuss that on stream. There's nothing good there. <laughs> like, it's a lot of, like, fucking, like, interpersonal drama or usernames changing. It's like, yeah, we don't need to follow these people around. Just cover the one thing that I am here for. Yeah, yeah. I don't need to. All right, well, a... Multiple people are claiming to be history buffs. We'll see if that's actually true. Yeah, not every fan game is, like, important, and, uh, some of them are fan games of a fan game, uh, we get- we're deep- we're deep in the hole, um, <gasps> some of them are, are stuff that just found- looked interesting to me, stuff is- stuff that I knew was important, uh, we're gonna be hitting a, a wide variety of things. <laughs> the spec is actually a bug, like, when your sanity is low, showing us that the player character is never truly sane. We got it tonight. I wish eight. that was true. Right, it's time for night nine, I think. Unless it does end at eight crazy nights. I wish that was true. Night nine. Oh right. my god, it is ten nights. All right, phone call. Oh crap. Another camera went down. I guess that's what these tests are for. Yeah, what if this is just like a like a like a cutting edge AI voice generation. What if this is just infinite? Oh God! We are almost. What is the, what almost is the lore of the, the phone calls? Like what? what so is it's the gist it's the hockey them? guy. Oh okay. What is he saying? I'm gonna kill you! You fucking <laughs> stupid! <laughs> and then he's telling you about all the cool stuff that's happening. Where it's like, oh, we took a camera down, or oh, the spider's extra horny today. <laughs> He's just kind uh, of big chillin'. I'm not really sure what the blood on the screen is other than a Golden Freddy, but I'm not complaining. It's cute. Maybe it's a sanity thing? Yeah, I'm not too sure. Are we doing five nights in the to boldly flee house? Literally, actually, yes we are. <laughs> Dude, these frames, uh, they make me so it happy. Rolls. It ah! rolls. I saw the scary. <laughs> me too, I saw the scary too. I'm sorry, I can't stop saying that now. You got a fucking stuck Dude, in the head. I can't stop saying the scary. I can't just stop adding the words the in front of things. <laughs> yes, friends. I believe that is what people on Earth call the scary. You do it so good. <laughs> These FNAF streams, oh my god. All right, Easy final game night, for final babies. Night, final night, final Easy night. game for babies. Let's hear this phone call. Hey, listen, you have done fantastic. The system has done even better. And all I can say is it's time to really test things, really throw it into another gear. We're going to come at you as fast as possible, and you're probably not going to make it. But I just want to tell you, it's been great having you test things for us, and here we come. Linus said ultimate crazy night, and that is a very good pun. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Queen. Uh, but, you yeah, know, these streams, the two of us streaming together has the vibe of uh, two drunk girls in a bathroom complimenting each other. Is <laughs> it? It, I, I'm realizing now in real time it kind of does. Yeah, I agree. Is there toilet lit up? Yes, it is. Oh, dude, you can see inside of that shit. That's like a like a mirror ball. Yeah, I can see like the fucking 
the like slime that see, starts forming in every toilet yeah, after a while. I could see like the Tony Hawk like skater piss deck. Oh. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> what does Tony Hawk deck mean? Because it's like if like Tony Hawk was really small, he would like skate in it. Like it was a little skate park. But he'd be what? He'd be riding like a piss deck, like a tech deck, but for pee. You can't just say that phrase like it means something, something and then keep me. moving. You're supposed to follow along with me, a tiny hawk. <laughs> you have to remember, May. I'm I'm a no and. Yeah. And that's what makes this work so well, because I don't stop despite your suggestions. <laughs> I honestly kind of want to learn more about these fly sprites. Yeah, like, why are they so blown out? Where do they come from? I'm sure this kid just Google searched fly PNG. <laughs> this dude must have been, like, in his 20s. You think? Oh, well, I don't know. High school boys can look a little older than they actually are just because they're tall. He was making games for, like, a... He got it on Xbox, so I feel like you'd have to be at least 18. Yeah. But to me, this clearly reads as, like, his parents' house. Which, like, you can be in your 20s and still live at your parents' house, He does kind of look like he's in his 30s now that I'm looking at his eyes. I, I don't know. It's hard. Because, like, you know those guys who are, like, kind of short, like, even after they hit puberty? And they grow, like, a full mustache, and they look like they could be, like, 15, or they look like they could be 30. I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> you know those guys who who are, like, uh, ugly? Yeah, that, that's exactly what Alyssa is saying. I'm not. I'm just ah! saying, I feel, I feel like because men don't wear any makeup, they can be... Like, oddly inscrutable for me to guess an age four sometimes. What do you mean? Just, like, the difference between, like, oh, well, I an think, adult... I, th I think the reason I can't clock men is because I don't find them attractive, so I'm not looking in their eyes. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not looking at them. <laughs> I mean, that's certainly part of it, but... <laughs> like, I kind of look at them like, 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 uh, like animals in a zoo. Like, oh, that's a giraffe and that's a lion. Like, I'm not looking at, like... The minute of them, you know? <laughs> the minute? You mean the minutia? I'm or are you die. being funny? I, I was, are you tarjaying me? I was I was tarjaying you, yeah. Okay, okay. Just making sure. I was I was uh, ah! How did you pronounce it? Minute? Minute, yeah. Okay. Targe? I, uh, I was watching a, uh, a Pokemon fake him on uh, clip on Twitter today, and they did this thing. He adds fucking rest in peace chat. Fucking uh, Amazon Sorry, moment. Continue. Uh, they did this thing where they like showed the Pokemon as if this was like a, a Pokemon sun and moon thing, and they had like a little Pokemon and me section. But the mm -hmm. Pokemon and me and the Pokemon 3D models were just slightly lower frame rate than you'd expect them to be, and they were in a slightly different aspect ratio than you'd expect them to be. So at any second, it kind of felt like they could cut to, like, murder footage. <laughs> just and like the... because of the slight feeling of wrongness? Yeah, or? it just felt uneasy, uh, and that is mm. what this game is cooking with. Give me all your money! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Diego. Diego said, make sure to subscribe free when you link your Amazon Prime account with your Twitch account or by paying $5 to subscribe. Oh no. Oh no, I'm insanity. I'm in, I'm in scary. <laughs> he didn't add for every night. Yo, what night are we on? on? I feel like we're on night 12. We're on night 10. Okay. I like how they haven't murdered me yet. I might be able to swag this out. Give me, Give me all your money. money. <laughs> I've, I've kind of run used to Doug. Ah! No! Damn. 
down. We're gonna get through this final goddamn night. We're gonna be the first person on the internet to beat one night two crazies. Or ten crazy <laughs> nights, whatever the fuck this game is actually called. Because, like, most of the footage I've seen of this game, I remember watching at the time. Like, I know Mudahar from Sornary Gamers covered it. I don't think mm -hmm. he got to night two. This is a game that I think is thoroughly undocumented. That's so sad. It is very It's crazy sad. to me because video games are such a difficult thing to make, and yet there's still so many indie games out in the world. Mind you, they're usually, like, quote-unquote lower effort indie games, but indie games nonetheless that, like, nobody knows about, you know? Yeah. The outside Xbox and some ordinary gamers were the two main channels to cover this game. I yeah. remember finding it from, uh... I think either searching the Xbox store, because I did actually used to search the Xbox store for horror games. I remember playing, or playing the <laughs> demo of a Slender ripoff on the Xbox Live Arcade. I know I'm preaching to the choir here, but I love to browse the Switch store just because- Yeah, it's great. There's so much the dog shit in there. crazy, weird dog shit in there. That's how you the play fucking, fucking evil hentai elves. Yeah, the borderline fucking pornography you can buy on the Switch the store. The actual pornography you can buy on the yeah, Nintendo Switch yeah, store. Yeah, kind of. No, like, no, no, there is actual pornography. Fucking I mean, tits and boobs you can buy on the Switch. Yes, but like technically, I don't think you're allowed to have genitals in a Switch game. Well, I've played Switch games with genitals, so there's, there's a miscommunication <laughs> somewhere. Um, honestly, I, honestly, I, 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 I do know that there is porn. I just know that they are not allowed to have porn. Yeah, they're allowed to... They used to be maybe allowed to be topless, but then... Um, I think they're allowed to have nipples. Yes, yeah, because there is a Sega Saturn game that got ported to the Switch that had nipples in it. Um, mm -hmm. And Nintendo was like, all right. They, it got pulled, but I think at a, at a later date, they were like, yeah, we don't actually care. Just like, just don't show pussy in it. Please don't show pussy in it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just know that like, uh, I really love Otome games, but I'm kind of behind on my AAA Otome games. So I haven't played very many of them in a while. Uh, my friend was saying that one of the Switch uh, ports of an Otome game basically has like pretty explicit sex yep. scenes. I think I know the exact like game all, you're talking about. They're all in text. Yep, I know the exact game you're talking about. I documented it for the Switch uh, porn <laughs> games video that probably <laughs> realistically potentially could come back. We'll see. We'll you, see. You should make it. You should make it. I actually haven't caught up on Vinny's weird Switch games stream. I've been working my way through his Pikmin playthrough. Sorry, I'm currently looking for the Switch game. It uh, About an elf is crazy. Hazel and I played a good chunk of it. How do you say this word? S-O-I-R-E-E? -E? Soiree? S-O-R-I-E. Yeah, soiree. Yeah, Olympia sure. Soiree is probably the game. That game has a full explicit yes, text. Yes, yes, yes. That's the one. That's the it. one. Yep, yep. That is the one. I, I did my fucking research, Alyssa. <laughs> you sure did. You sure did. I'm impressed. Yeah, I want to play Olympia Soiree. Uh, yeah, about an elf is. I almost feel like it's worth playing just to look at it. You know? I I got it for Christmas. You know I played the first uh, like ten minutes of it, and I really loved it. And then I did not get back to it. Maddie got it for me for Christmas, which is she oh. understands me. She does. Wow! Thank you, Hazel from Anime, for the tier one sub. Yeah, she's starting a little a little sub hype train, as the kids call it. <laughs> I might play about an elf on stream eventually. Uh, it's very good. The bits of it I've played. It is vibes, as the kids say. You know, I've been watching. Um, I want to say his YouTube name so that we can get some. He's like criminally underrated. My sister and I have been watching him. Uh, Neiman, N E I M A N N. Uh, I've been watching him play some like text-focused games and. Uh, He's so pleasant to listen to, like, reading things in a way that I don't usually really enjoy. Like, even though I enjoy playing text-heavy games, I don't really enjoy listening to other people play them. Um, but it got me thinking mm -hmm. again. Did you hear that car? We did, yeah. Oh, Knee Man. Yeah, thank you. Um, but it got me thinking again about how I've wanted to, like, get through some of my visual novel backlogs uh, on stream. Actually, <laughs> I don't know if it's any good. I've just seen people like 
with the main girl and their icons. I bought a uh, needy streamer overdose or whatever that's called. I bought it called. and I kind of want to play it. You want to play it with me? Yeah, sure. Do you want to play it on stream? Or just yeah. in general? Cool. Yeah, let's just play it. I um. I know I'll... literally nothing about it. It might be horseshit not, or it not, might be fun. Not to blow uh, a load that can be fired in a few months time. There is a FNAF fan game on this list that is uh, a fan game of not just Five Nights at Freddy's, but also uh, VA11 Hall A, Valhalla. Oh, Valhalla. Yeah, yes. yeah. Uh, and uh, that game is made by Fiznom, the guy who made FNAF Plus and then got canceled. Uh. <laughs> so I am so excited to play that game. That's exciting. As someone who knows a tef that worked on Valhalla but hasn't played it, I think I'll have an interesting perspective. <laughs> There's something very funny about playing the FNAF fan game first. <laughs> a few people in the chat said they like a uh, needy streamer girl and a one yeah, person there said was they had mixed There was also a streamer uh, horror game that came out um, the other day. Uh, that the I other day? Oh my god. Give me all your money. Oh wow. Thank you so much, Hot Mafia. D Duck Walker. I'm still stunned when I hear his voice. Give me all your money. Give me all your money. Yes, Parasocial by Chillo's Art. I know nothing about that studio. I've heard people say some of their games are good. Some of those games are meh. Uh, people have said money. it would be funny to oh, stream it. Yeah, I saw people talking about it. Uh, and if it does look funny to stream it, I'll stream it. I think oh, it's a Japanese horror game. Let's yeah, watch. streaming a game about uh, parasocial relationships and streamers and all of that. It's very funny as a streamer. It's a built-in punchline. I can't believe the word parasocial has I... crossed over into the Japanese internet sphere so fast. Yeah. Oh, I wish I had a kombucha right now. I, uh... Yeah, I'm still not used to Doug being here. It's kind of <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> like seeing um, something from an old relationship, like hearing an in-joke <laughs> that you haven't heard in a long time. It's like, oh, hi, Doug. I, I, I didn't expect to see you here. Life been treating you well. I can't believe anyone watched all of the Channel Awesome VODs. It is going to be my most viewed stream by probably the end of this week. Deadass? <laughs> yeah, it is at 14k right now and it is just about to be Ew! my house stop VOD. The phrase needy Doug overdose just gave me such bad ick. <laughs> what do you mean? That's what I love that needy Doug overdose. <laughs> yeah, there is a chance uh, with recent pushes or, or soon to happen pushes. That channel yeah, awesome yeah. VOD can maybe break 18k, which would be the views that my fire God punch damn. video reached. There is Let's a go. chance by the end of next month that Doug stream is the most viewed thing I've ever done, which is very weird. That's crazy, but congrats. Yeah, it is a weird feeling, uh, especially as that game, <laughs> or, or sorry, that VOD is not monetizable. Uh, yeah, I sad. contested all the music, but I could not contest the full 20 minute unedited, uncut board James footage. That might have yeah. been our bad. Yeah. Screenwave does actually claim board James. I That's didn't know fair. that. I should have expected that because board James does have a DVD release. I'm so surprised that. The movies themselves don't get played. Oh, but the fuck, of course they don't. No one cares about them. They also <laughs> never had digital releases. Well, I think I have to text this to me instead of saying it out loud. Oh, oh no. okay. <laughs> May is going to text you something. You keep saying May when you mean to say Hazel. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm used to talking to Hazel all day, which is why. Yeah, Hazel yeah. is going to text you something. <laughs> ah! Ah! I fucked up! I fucked up! <laughs> This is the scary. Is it the scary? This is kind of the scary. Really? Look, I'm also gonna answer my text. Imagine if you're trying to check like a text from your sister while you're getting home invasioned. It wouldn't be that <laughs> fucking easy. 
Ah. I, I don't have audio, so I have no scary. There's no scary for me. Hazel just texted me something, and uh, I will potentially follow up on that. Nepotism might succeed for one May McDougal once again. <laughs> what? Are we still on night 10? Is night 10 really hard? It's the final night. It's it's the, the ultimate crazy night, as Linus said. You're right, it is the ultimate crazy. Look, bitches love the crazies. The... the <laughs> That is that is the the motto of the stream, actually. Um, they just love the crazies. That's the that's the reason the stream. Why else 14. would you be here if you didn't love the crazy? Yeah. Um. But yeah. Uh. Where am I? Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to think about games that take place in a normal residential house, like not. Um, yeah, this is reminding me of Scream and stuff. Yeah. Like not like a FNAF four thing where it's like a fictionalized house. I mean like a like a normal yeah, house. Yeah. Uh and the games are one night two crazies and my house dot one. Those are the two. <laughs> the only two? The only two that come to mind. I'm sure there are more. God damn. This is a FNAF fan game. We are playing FNAF fan games, just so you know, chat. <laughs> Yeah, I'm also so excited to cook the thumbnail for the stream. I am already. Yeah, you've like, been you've been going ham on the stream vod yeah, thumbnails. Yeah, I I've been having a lot of fun with them. <laughs> ah! Oh my god, when will this game end? <laughs> when the, we beat the crazies. We have to. Work. I want to see my real friend Freddy. I'm tired of the crazies. <sighs> They're not my friends. We will get to uh, Treasure Island. Yes, chat. Treasure Island was the first. I did not realize how much people like Treasure Island. It was the first big FNAF fan game. I'm going to make very clear we are not going to okay. be playing the full release of it because that didn't come out until 2020. But we will be playing today the demo that released on December 1st, 2014. Oh. Uh, basically, most FNAF YouTubers played FNAF 1. They did the challenge content of FNAF 1. They, mm -hmm. By the time they were done with that, FNAF 2 came out. So they immediately went to FNAF 2. And right as FNAF 2 was starting to taper off, the demo for... Uh, Treasure Island? Yeah, I forget the actual title of that game. Treasure Island. Um, Five Nights at Treasure Island, I think, is the title of the game. Something like that, yeah. yeah. That The first demo for that game came out December 1st, right as FNAF 2 was starting to cool down. Mm -hmm. Hello, my baby. Oh, thank you for the coaster I don't need. Yeah, we will well, probably... I just stole it from you, so I thought that you would need it back. No. Hi, Hazel. May says, hi, Hazel. Hi. Uh, Treasure Island actually also is one of the few FNAF fan games I've watched, but I remember literally so little about it other than what it looks like. I almost just and called I think Mickey I... Mickelodeon, but yeah, Mickelodeon's <laughs> there. Yeah, I was about to say, I think Goofy is there. Yeah, I think Goofy's there. I'm not really too sure. Okay. I, I would love... There? Would you smoke with Goofy? Um, I don't think Goofy smokes, personally. Really? I think I he would have gotten into it after his kid went to college. Oh, uh, Like, it'd get know, legalized okay, in the yeah. state, and he'd kind of be like a craft beer dad, but like for... Yeah, for like yeah. I think Goofy would smoke. You know that I have like a weird like fondness for for Goofy, right? Me too. I love Goofy. I don't like love him <gasps> as a design per se. Like he's fine. I just like no. I love him car not currently. I but like, <laughs> I like him a lot. Okay. Okay. It's okay. like him and <laughs> I was having this discussion we with him. Come compare Goofy to Balin. Is that no, what Bowser, you were about Bowser, to say? Bowser, 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 uh, Bowser. Okay. Uh, no, I was talking with uh, Hazel the other night um, about my favorite Pokemon. Uh, and I remembered recently that Incineroar is one of my favorite Pokemon. Really? And uh, it, it, it was for a while. I, I mained him in Smash uh, during the ultimate like demo phase before that game was actually out. I remember going to... Uh, the King of Prussia Mall in Pennsylvania to play the FNAF Ultimate uh, early release demo just so I could try Incineroar. Um, 
But yes, I've come to realize in another life, I am probably a bar girl. Like in another life where I'm not a lesbian, I have a private Twitter where I retweet, I have, I private re- retweet, quote tweet, fucking I have COVID to every single pair of big beefy bar tits that hits my feed. That is not my current life, but that is a, a alternate universe may I respect. I hope she's having fun. That's so funny. I, uh, in a world where I'm bisexual, my, my, my type is still just people who look like women. (laughs) I like girls and guys shaped like girls. I feel like that's the, the easy choice. Like, yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's why I'm like almost a little surprised that you think that in another life you would be a a beast. well, see, the thing lover. is, is because it's like it's kind of the same philosophy, because mm-hmm. it's tits at the end of the day. Mm. Yeah, that's fair. I have a a big fondness for like big big boys, just because I have so many gay men friends who yeah, love, exactly, like, exactly that genre. I've read a lot of like random Barodogen, like I said last time. I did I say this? I don't know. Yeah, I you talked about, I, what, I talked about furry, furry porn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, and Dem was like, oh, yeah, I don't know what that is. And he fucking cred checked him so hard he cried himself to sleep that night. Um, But it's not out of any kind of particular personal interest in it. It's more just like I find human attraction as a spectrum interesting and i love seeing like all the different types of things that people are into and i was like you know what? i want to see the world through a gay man's eyes yeah like, you, what... you were doing it through like an anthropological perspective yeah 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 that's, like, what, I, what, that's just... what i did at the ren fair i uh i <laughs> at the ren fair i i like kept lookout for white boys in nintendo cosplays and i'm proud to oh. report i saw like four it was like three links and one done ban uh. from xenoblade chronicles it was a, a big surprise Ooh. it's you don't need to know it's okay um okay. and it's like it, it it's just kind of fun to people watch or like see the world through their eyes for it a is second, it is you know? it is like that's why i said before i'm fascinated by weird fetishes even like ones that I am a little disturbed by or have no interest in like I was so delighted when I found out about Lunars because it's something I would what never are think lunars? of. Yes, he made us know what Lunars are. Um so Lunars are people who have a fetish and I'm sure there are like different like categories or genres of this but There's like different for- strains. Like fetishes involving balloons. So like oh. I know that there are people who are specifically into yeah, the balloon lunars. itself. Stand they're lunars. like into <laughs> they're into characters made out of balloons. There are also people into is like it balloon. An inflation subgenre or is it like a different it can, strain? But not necessarily. Because I think some of the titillation does come from the inflation aspect. But I also think some of the titillation for some people comes from the popping aspect. Yeah, and, like, and for other oh, people so is it like still, the, the, the Willy Wonka the blueberry thing. Kind of, but I would say that's more inflation than than. What about the sound uh, of balloons? Yes, some for people it's a sound thing. For some people it's a rubber thing. So that kind of goes into like yeah. latex fetishists. So how and did you see I, the I world through the lunar eyes? I think for some people it's a little bit the fear of the popping. Like, especially when it's a character like, made I, out of balloons, I, I it's kind of like being, you know, the, the anxiety of them getting popped. Or is it like a, um, is it like a, like a, like a fear of loving your balloon husband so hard that he explodes? Is that part of it? Like, okay, I haven't gone walking in the, in the mind of a lunar enough you haven't worn to their really boots. know. Yeah, I haven't worn their shoes quite enough. What about Balloon Boy? No, he's not made out of, well, he carries balloons, so maybe that, He's just a boy, though. Don't worry about him. It is, it is fun um, to see some people say, in full curiosity, what about, and then some of these motherfuckers <laughs> in chat are saying, what about, and then explaining why they find it hot. I see you, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. I have eyes. I can read. So so, so, so my favorite part of um, me knowing about lunar things is um, one time I was staying at my boss's place for like a work trip with him and his girlfriend, and I explained to them what lunars are. I don't remember what brought it up. Okay. 
I, I just like to fucking tell people bizarre shit I learn. Yeah. Um. So I explain lunar fetish to them, and they're like, well, that's crazy. And then later that day, we oh, were no. sitting on the couch watching TikToks idly, and we were watching them on my boss's phone. Uh, so it was on his TikTok. And we scroll to a video, and it starts with a total, like, clickbait hook that totally got us. It's like, OMG, the ending. Yeah. So so we we watch it, and it's, like, this really long-winded, like, a guy gets home. There's a sign on his door. It says, like, oh, come it, like, to the bedroom. Oh, was it, like, movie clips? No, it wasn't a movie clip. It was, like, totally an indie film thing. Oh, no. So it, it, he, like, comes home to a sign that says, like, come to the bedroom and goes <gasps> to the bedroom. And his girlfriend is there wearing a full balloon dress. And I was like, what? oh, my God, okay, this what, is literally is, a balloon fetish video. What does a balloon dress entail? Like, a, okay, so, like, you know, like. Like a dress balloon. made of balloons? Yes. Or like You okay. know, like, balloon animals? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a Friday, Friday, Friday Night Freddy's. No, like an Animal Crossing. Like, there's an Animal Crossing dress that yeah, you can yeah. get. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's literally like, like, like Pietro that. Like Core, what that fucking freak wears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, Sorry, it was on we, we are playing uh, One Night Two Crazies, the first uh, console FNAF fan game, and we are discussing balloon fetishes. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I can't make it easier for you. Lunar's you just have to paradise. kind of try and stick along. Yeah, it was his TikTok for you page. So I was like, oh my god, this is literally balloon fetish. We were just talking about this earlier. And so she, like, gives her boyfriend a needle, and she's like, pop all the balloons for your surprise underneath. What's the surprise and so he's her like, bare naked okay. body? I mean, it's TikTok, so we're assuming no. And then, like, also, like, we were kind of like, is this going to be a joke? Like, like my boss is like, okay, she's going to be, like, wearing a Shrek outfit underneath or something. <laughs> like, yeah, we were trying to sure. Guess what was gonna happen because we were like there's no way you're just like getting flat out recommended like a fetish video like that seems too on the nose um so <laughs> he starts nose? popping i don't know so he starts popping the balloon dress balloon by balloon and every time he does she reacts like oh like really ugh, oh it was gross like it anime girl really... excitement <laughs> yeah pretty much um so then i was like Tim, you have to dislike this video. You have to because... tell TikTok that you don't want to watch the balloon. Yes, yes, because I was like, this anymore. is so long, and we are morbid curiosity watching so yeah, much of no. this. TikTok's gonna be like, this is a balloon freak for real. Yeah, yeah. If you do not click He's not like... interested on TikTok, they will fucking ruin your life. Yes. Yes. So he was like, I've actually never disliked a video before. How do you do that? And so I'm explaining it to him, and as I'm explaining it, he's following the steps so he hits don't like this video and then the video disappears right before it ends <gasps> oh my god he's you like, edged yourself he was like no we suffered through that whole thing and we didn't even get to see how it ended we didn't even get to see the pop <laughs> so then he searches balloon dress on no, tiktok thinking no. he was gonna find it again and instead he uncovers like he fucking flips over a rock and finds a whole colony of ants under yeah, it like, <laughs> likely place for them to be you type in balloon dress and you find fucking balloon fetishes and he's like oh my god why are there so many of these i was like i'm telling you man it's this a whole fetish home. you don't enter someone's home and get confused as to why they're so doing what they do i was like dude if your algorithm wasn't ruined before it is destroyed now and so then his girlfriend is like maybe because you disliked it you can't find it again let me see if i can find no. it <laughs> Of your algorithms are destroyed forever. Like, like, a, like a your B for B, your ballooner for ballooner. <laughs> Balloons for ballooner. <laughs> uh, but also, I do not think that you can find videos you clicked not recommended on. Um, I think there's a tab in your your account that lets you find the ones you didn't recommend. But who knows? <laughs> Also, some uh, GV said, do they have any sort of fixation with the uh, pink elephants from Dumbo the way hypno fuckers are in Taka? I wouldn't be surprised. It's crazy how many like I'm bizarre to, fetishes I'm Disney accidentally what, like, made. The, 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 cause like, yeah, the, the, the elephant makes sense. Willy Wonka inflation makes sense. But there must be something more. Like... Do you think like the Macy Day parade was like the the balloon fetish oh. first impact? <laughs> like 
someone saw a fucking Sonic kill that cop and they're like, oh my god, I'm into that. That. <laughs> it's like balloon fetish title. <laughs> I couldn't yeah. it, I'm sorry. Okay, okay, for anyone who just joined, the context of this conversation was me saying that I am, an like... The balloon is very sexy, and you love I'm balloons. No, I am philosophically fascinated by weird fetishes, especially ones that I don't have any interest in, because I feel like I get to see a new peek into, like, the psyche of someone who's very different from me. Like, I feel like it kind of, like unveils like a whole new aspect of humankind that I was not once privy to. I, so when I found I, out I about love Lunars... When I find YouTube comments that are people in a world that I have never lived because it reminds me of how small the world, or sorry, big the world truly is. Yes, yes. Yeah, pervert for pervert. I'm not gonna lie, this night's kind of brutal. Yeah, we've been on this night forever. I'm sorry. Sometimes because of Bob's crazy. Burgers? <laughs> ah! Is there a lunar joke in Bob's Burgers? Does Bob Burger find balloon sexy? There's a whole episode about it. Whoa. Really? I'm, I'm surprised. Lunar is a person with a balloon fetish. I think and we have sometimes... to just fucking cut them off at some point. I don't think giving the dictionary definition of lunar every five minutes, like the fucking top of the hour ad break, is going to do us any good. <laughs> you can dodge this lunar definition for five dollars, or you can no, use you can, your you can hear life. this another lunar definition for five dollars <laughs> or for free. <laughs> I can't even run the ad break. I have to. I'd have to click onto my phone to run oh, it. Oh, I see. I see. So I explain lunars during the ad break so that only the people who've paid you money can hear it again. <laughs> yeah, but I wish I could put text on screen, but I can't even fucking touch OBS. If I touch OBS, this game explodes itself. I'm sorry, chat. We're cooking at full fucking full gas. This is not a bad stream. Have you ever heard of Gungle? What the fuck I'm is like, I'm, Gungle? I'm scared to read that out loud because out loud, I don't know what it is. <sighs> Alyssa, can you look up Gungle? Alright, what is Gungle? Gungle? Did you mean jungle? No, I didn't. I'm a situation in which one is owned two to three times vigorously. Like, like sex owned or like pwned owned? Oh, th this looks like it's a sex thing. <laughs> hey Siri, what's Gungle? Oh, I don't know if you want her to read this out hey, loud, Alexa, please. Hey Alexa, what's Gungle? Okay Google, what's Gungle? Sorry, I was trying to trigger everyone's fucking devices in the audience. <laughs> boop boop! Gungle, the white crusted semen and poop that one gets around the butthole after anal sex. Oh wait, so that's what it is? Apparently. But it also means to be confused. Definition or example sentence. I'm gungled. How is it Friday already? What? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to give Night 10. Oh, fuck, but I don't want to be the only person to know this game's ending. I just got to. I just got to. I just got to. I just got to lock down. This is a serious mode. Describe more weird fetishes to me. <laughs> um, I don't know if I have one, but I'll tell you my latest favorite one. Uh, did you know? Wait, did I tell this to you in dumb while I was high? Did I tell you guys about sunfish? No. Oh, okay. Well, you know how big sunfish are, right? I don't know what a sunfish is. Oh, I, I kind of assume people just know what all fish are because of how the, they're in Animal Crossing and they're huge. Don't worry, this isn't a fetish. Sorry, I said that wrong. <laughs> so, so, Chad is so scared. I'm, I'm sorry, Chad, it's not, it's not a fetish. Everyone was terrified that you were about to introduce 
fish fucking into the lexicon of the stream. No, no, no. Okay, so okay, sunfish... yeah, I'm imagining a, a Loma Mola. Okay, cool, cool. I know what a sunfish. Yeah, yeah, is. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sunfish average in about like five to six feet. Yeah. So they're fucking big. They're big fish. Um. And they're fascinating because they live a really long time. And the reason for that is they are one of the most toxic animals alive. Like, the colonies of, like, tiny little, like, uh, uh, bacterias and so stuff that Madeline live on them are so, <laughs> I'm sorry. That wasn't funny. are so, like, poisonous to quick. anything that would ever try to eat a sunfish that, like, no other animal in the ocean just fucking bothers. So they just float around big, toxic as fuck, stupid as fuck. Me uh, as fuck. <laughs> a lot of older sunfish have scars from sharks trying to bite them because every now and then a shark will be like, but what if I get a good old bite of sunfish? And then they're like, never mind. This it's, is what it's, it's not like to have a girlfriend. In addition to them being incredibly toxic, apparently they also taste like shit. Like they've, I've seen them described as the styrofoam of the sea. Okay, wait, hold up. That what I said went without fucking acknowledgement. Is is gr someone's girlfriend biting them not normal? Uh, I just kind of took that as normal. Oh, that's normal. Okay, cool. We're good. We're good. Yeah. Cool. Just, just making sure. Right. So, um. Hang on, I'm trying to reach out. I'm distracted now. So, sunfish get huge. They're old. They're they're toxic. They taste like shit. Nothing wants to eat them. Everyone they hates live. them. Nobody cares. Everyone them. hates them. But <laughs> because they're so covered in like bacterias and stuff, they have to uh, go to the surface and sunbathe to like kind of like is that why they're called let... sunfish? Yes, to oh let my God, seagulls that's so like cute. because seagulls can digest. It because seagulls are fucking godless creatures so seagulls will like pick the worst of like uh uh creatures living on a sunfish and sometimes when sunfish are up on the surface sunbathing sea otters like to come and fucking basically cow tip them like they'll like knock them on their side and like sometimes they like to chew like their fins off and then like oh my God, throw them so around mean. like a frisbee <laughs> oh my God. and it's really hard for the sunfish to get back upright because it has so few fins and it is so large and broad <laughs> i uh there was a horse fly in my house the other day and it disappeared for a few days until it reappeared yesterday and I had I thought I had that fucker swagged on so hard. Hi Doug money. Walker. And then he flipped back over. No. I was so brave and so strong. I can't believe you didn't Kokichioma that motherfucker. I did eventually, but I I, I, I wasn't strong enough. I literally wasn't <laughs> strong enough to crush it because it's it had like fucking bone bones. Yeah, I I did not realize how large and meaty horseflies were until I saw your video of it. Yeah, dude, they're like fucking, they're 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 buff. Oh yeah, pool floaty fetish. That's that's pretty common. You know that Animal Crossing with the inflation spout on the back of his head. No, no, I, oh. I don't actually. Well, there's an Animal Crossing neighbor that has a little inflation spot on the back of his head, thus implying that he's like an inflatable pool toy. <sighs> he's a big one for that community, as you can imagine. My friend had a regular commissioner. And for some reason, pool toy fetish community often has overlap with furries, so it's like they're specifically into sense. furry inflatables. So my I, friend I, had I, a I regular... My friend had a regular commissioner who was very, very polite and always, like, tipped well, who would regularly commission her to draw, like, their little pool toy furry OCs. She was like, you know, it's weird and I don't get it, but he pays well and he's very nice. I I feel weird commissioning art for these streams by people I am friends with. I don't get not safe for work commissions, but I am, like, I, your bravery is fucking awe-inspiring, you know? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for saying I'm a good co-streamer when Everyone I'm saying like Alyssa. Everyone all the worst Alyssa, things I can Alyssa's think of. Great. 
<laughs> I literally just like learning about strange things. One time I literally spent all day in bed because I don't know, I was like tired or maybe I just gotten boosted reading about Mormons because I was like, okay, what actually are they allowed to do? Like, I need to know. Uh, they just like <laughs> jump was... up and down on the bed to do a sex, I think. It's soaking no. real, chat. It's soaking real. Is what? Soaking. Soaking? You put it in, but you don't move, and then your oh, friend yeah, jumps on the bed. Soaking's real cool, thanks. Kinda uncommon. I do know about the hump bump. Or the jump pump, whatever. <laughs> You've done Just it as a gay sex. man? That's fucking crazy. Did you know that there's an overlap That's with the like breeding a... sink and robot fucking? In FNAF um, 4, there is a challenge mode where you can, uh, like, turn off your vision and play the game blind, but it's technically still beatable because that game is all based off audio cues. And that is what soaking as a gay man is. Like, you've already mastered the art. You're just playing on hard <laughs> mode. <laughs> Oh, this sucks. This game's bad. It's fucking great, actually. Um, this game is bad. I'm sorry you're not too fond of One Night Too Crazy Secretly Ten Nights. It's too many nights. This is more nights than I think any FNAF fan game I've seen. I'm just gonna check one camera and check the side door every three minutes, uh, three seconds. One, two, three. Yes, yeah, too bad no one's ever beaten this game, so I can't just look up what the easy win is. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think I understand how the cameras work. Uh, Mormons love soda milk. Is that true? Chat, I don't think we're. Getting, I don't think we're gonna get paid for this. I think the 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 win that you get for this game is just not being murdered. <laughs> have I talked about pissy shitties on stream before? Uh, I think you have. I'm not sure. Go for it anyway. I feel like I have. I'll do it anyway. Uh, Piss, so pissy, pissy shitties is not anything bad. Chat, don't worry. Yeah, don't worry, it's not a fetish. <laughs> I feel like I have to keep clarifying that. It's not a fetish, don't Neither worry. Not a fish. <laughs> so, pissy shitties is a thing in America where um, you pour your soda into a container of popcorn at the movie theater and then drink the, or you eat the soaked popcorn. So it's kind of like sweet yes, and I salty. I think people tried to pay me to do pissy shitties during the Morbius stream, but I did not. Yeah. Um, the popcorn container is supposedly like, like, like some theaters make them specifically for pissy shitty so that they don't get so soaked through. Oh. Um, but some people kind of like the experience of it getting soggy. What do you mean they kind of like the experience? Like of that it, they could, I mean, they soggy. just kind of consider it like a part of the, a part of the, oh, what, what do they call it in your region? If you've never what's, heard of that. What's the localized uh, term for pissy shitties? Yeah, I need to know. No, because I feel like pissy shitties, like getting like wet and lumpy, feels like like when you, when you like hold a cat or a baby or a dog and then it pees on you. That's what I feel like pissy oh. shitties would feel like. Like to have it slowly <laughs> like le leak and get wet. Oh. It's like if a baby I learned was edible. pissy shitties was popcorn with candy and then the soda. I'm sure there are people who do that. So. Chat, what I've just told you is a famous Tumblr lie. <laughs> um, we beat it. There. Let's go. Thank you so much for playing the game. Now, if you're ready for a new challenge, continue Yes, you beat the game. What? Why would I even want to replay this but harder? All right, man. I'm Bye-bye. <laughs> so long. Okay. Anyway, what I've just told you is a famous Tumblr lie. There was a post that went around and it was like, I'm from the UK. I never knew that, or I, so I had never heard of pissy shitties. And everyone's like, "What the fuck is pissy shitties?" And it's like, well, apparently Americans like do this and this, and they they love it when it soaks through onto their pants, and 
everyone was like, what the fuck? I've never heard of this. And then a bunch of other people were like, no, no, like, yeah, Americans love pissy shitties. We do it all the time. So anyway, it's 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 fake. It doesn't exist. Are you ready to uh... homeless style? Yeah, basically. We're going to be FNAF 1 now, now that we've pre-gamed 10 crazy nights. Uh, almost two hours into the stream, we're going to be playing the first official FNAF game. Wait. Because we, we did not we beat, already beat We didn't beat FNAF 1. 1. We did not beat Night 7. We didn't? We did not beat F Night 7. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am uh, the scary voice, the sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's not your fault. Why are you talking to me like I'm a fucking cat? <laughs> I don't know. What's what's Takarajima? I'm gonna look it up. Alright, let's fucking rock this shit. I'm gonna predict that I'm gonna get this in under two encounters. If one of the mods wants to run a prediction, go for it. Uh what am I running? A prediction, a prediction for exactly? uh getting this in under two attempts. Uh and there'll be team believers and team non believers. Uh how do I make a poll? Uh it is a prediction, and I do not know how. I know how prediction. I do it. Um Actually, we're just not gonna encount uh count this encounter. And, okay. And uh I'll do Shit, that. I don't know. Someone else who knows how to make a prediction, please do that. Oh yeah, also I don't have game audio still. I know, that's why so. I also closed the game. No scary for me. Um Shield mode, no. Uh, I got it, I got it. Um, I got it. Oh thank you, Queen. Believe. Here, fun fact for you, Chad, just because GV saying Takarajima reminded me, um, in Japanese internet slang, Urashima can refer to, like, when you are out of the loop with something, yeah. because it comes from Urashima, Urashima Taro from the, uh, the Urashima, right, prediction oh my god, I'm is, having so much uh, trouble saying this in English, from the Urashima Taro, uh, legend, where he is taken to the to the island by the turtle um and then when he comes back i have to go quickly uh, grab something hold up um have fun the world has progressed without him so saying i'm so urashima about blank 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 means that you're you've like fallen out of the loop with it you don't know what's going on now it's just me and this little persona person Sorry, I was trying. I had to grab the predictions overlay thing from. Oh, do I get to bet channel points too? Uh, I don't know if you can as a mod. Oh yes, I can. Okay, wait. I want to spend more. Gambling, gambling's so fun. Yeah, gambling is fun. I'm gonna spend a lot. All right. Um, where the fuck is that Discord window? And what? Yeah, it is like Rip Van Winkle. I always forget that we have. Please. <laughs> so Urashima about pussy shitty. Shut up. <laughs> Cool. I can't open Discord, so I cannot fix Alyssa's capture. Many such cases. Wow. These FNAF streams are uh, very ramshackle, just because all of these games are kind of held together by tape. Oh wait, May, did the prediction disappear? Uh, no, it's, it's just currently running. Oh. Why can't I look at it more? Unsure. Chuck, can you still add to the prediction? No, it, it it stops after a minute. Oh. Oh, oh, it stops from letting you make guesses. I yes, see, I see, I see. Yeah. You're very welcome, GB. Wow, no audio so sad. I'm sorry, I'm trying my hardest, and my hardest isn't good enough because everything That's hates okay. me, and I'm, it's okay. I'm unloved, and God hates me, and I'm his least favorite the child. Only, the only reason I want audio so much is because none of these games scare me whatsoever without sound. I'm doing you a favor. Well, it's a good thing for me, but a bad thing for content. Hashtag yeah. content. Well, just, just, because... just scream randomly and maybe you'll be on time. <laughs> Discord's probably going to come out anyway, so... I'm being 
being so bad with power. I ate before we started streaming so that I wouldn't get hungry in the middle of streaming, but now I'm kind of feeling like... Like I took my hour-long lunch break from work before I even clocked in, you know? Yeah. Like I, I don't have it to look forward to now. Let's see how Foxy's doing. Doing good. Hey, what's he up to? He's, uh, he's been chilling. How are the kids? If you had to have a kid with one of the FNAF characters, which would it be? Bonnie. I think he'd be a good dad. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh. I was watching the first security breach VOD and May screaming at something scared me so much I burst into real tears. <laughs> So cute. <laughs> I've I've uh, I've proclaimed a lot on these streams. I really like Bonnie. I think he's cool. I love that you love Bonnie. It's a cute character trait. And also, like Bonnie, like dies a lot. You know, so like once Bonnie dies, I can I can I can make it with Chica. Hmm. You know. What do you mean? Like, I have the kid with Bonnie. But after he dies, because okay. he's inevitable to, to die, then I could like I could, I could make it work with Chica, Chica, and I'd be like I'd be like a single mom. So you only want Bonnie for his, for his fertility? I don't want I don't just no I want like the good ten years I'd get out of him, but I also oh. know that he's kind of doomed to die. Okay. Oh okay. Yes. <laughs> I think Freddy would hold the kid by the head like a sports ball. I think he would too. The Christian Ferg signals. What the fuck, man? Fuck these streams. <laughs> I feel like I, like I feel it. like Foxy would try to be like too jokey with the kid, and he'd like. <sighs> he just think he's a lot funnier than he is. He would be a friend to the kid. He wouldn't be a parent to the kid. Yeah, like he'd like. He's like drop it funny. Like he do that thing that dads do where they like toss the kid into the air, uh, and then he, yeah, yeah. then he drop it. And maybe that would yeah. be the bite of eighty seven. That would be the drop of eighty seven. Um, that's that. This B. Sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's funny. I like it. No, I like it. It's funny. I'm sorry. I'm like if you had to decompose in one of the FNAF animatronic suits, which would it be? Uh, hmm. I'm trying to think about which one would be the roomiest. Yeah. I find the Golden Freddy pose inherently very funny, so I would actually be cool with an eternity of doing the Golden Freddy. <laughs> I think a lot about that pose that's like, bro, stop, you're scaring the hose. Yeah, it's the stop, golden stop doing that pose, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Dude, I got my booster a few days ago, and it's not sore or heavy anymore. But like just from a few days of not using my arm, I feel like like every single mu muscle I had in that arm has atrophied, and now like doing anything with it is like so exhausting. Yeah, that's that sounds awful. I um, I think I got like two boosters, maybe three, but I got them all like as soon as possible. Meaning, yeah. I uh, I have not had the the shot in a while. I, uh, other, like, the first COVID shot, uh, uh, enlarged my heart and almost killed me, but the rest of them were pretty chill. What? Yeah, I had, like, a, like, weird heart palpitations for a few weeks, but other than that, hmm. it was pretty chill. It Scary. also made, it also made the time I got COVID not kill me, so I'm not too perturbed by it. Okay, I still have, oh, hi, Bonnie. I still have not gotten COVID, and I'm trying to keep it that way, but we'll see. Bonnie's I feel like scary. um, 
Yeah, Bonnie Bonnie was the scary this time. Oh Alyssa, are you still there? Yeah. Okay, cool. Sorry, I was closing Discord so I could try and like fix the capture. Oh, no worries. Please do not put it on the main monitor. Please do not put it on the main monitor. Please do not put it on the main monitor. Yeah, COVID seems like a bad fucking time, even. Uh, it was pretty bad. I got to play the yeah. entirety of Nier during it, though, so it wasn't all bad. <laughs> sometimes I don't want COVID, but sometimes I do have thoughts of like, oh, I wish I would get sick so that I could take a break without feeling guilty. Yeah, at that job that I... I sorry, I'm going to keep referring to the tweet because it, it did more than yeah, my usual yeah. tweets do, so I assume most people saw it. Uh, at oh. that job, I... Uh, Tried to get COVID intentionally so I wouldn't have to go to work. <laughs> I drank the spit of someone that had COVID. May. It was bad. Do you think that that was like your own special little booster shot? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking maybe. Dude, I remember waking up the day after doing that and being so fucking mad I had to go to work. God. Because that job was killing me. Yeah, I know it was, buddy. It was a bad time all around. Yeah, I homebrewed it. Also, OBS keeps saying, hey, stop overloading me. So there's a chance the stream, stream might, might crash at some point. Oh. Is OBS... Alyssa? Yes? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Your stream died, though. Or your, your stream to me. I don't know. If it's yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. She's gone, chat said. Alyssa's gone. You were gone for a millisecond. Oh, okay. Am I good? You should be good now. All right, so let me pull up Frederick again. There's Freddy, Freddy Fazbear. Why is OBS having such a hard time playing, like, the most streamed game of all time? Uh, because I, every YouTuber that covered Five Nights at Freddy's is, is honestly stronger than the troops. Because this yeah. game is held together by tape. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I honestly considered, we did, we are not and we did not, uh, but I honestly considered playing the Windows ports of the console ports. Because... Uh, due to oh. Xbox, they're also on PC. Right, yeah. Um, I considered playing the Windows ports of these games. Because also, they're just ports that no one sees. Like, I'm sure there's probably, like, yeah. less than 20 people that have actually played those games on PC. Yeah. I've already seen people feeling nostalgic for the quarantine. And honestly, I kind of, like... I don't want us to be in quarantine again, and I feel bad for everyone who lost their jobs during that time. Or their lives. But I do I do miss getting money from the government to stay at home, because I already do that. So yeah. getting money so for it was pretty sick. Mm. I, uh, I, you're still not streaming to me. Or let me, hold on. You should There be. we go. Yeah, because I just did all this so you had audio. <laughs> Pulling at home too. Or, or, what did you say? You just got underwater vision. Oh, oh! I, I was just reading someone in chat saying I miss all my friends being at home and available. Honestly, all of my friends either being unemployed or YouTubers basically means that hasn't meaningfully changed for me. <laughs> YouTuber privilege. I was swimming with the sunfish. I love slightly burning my hands while styling doll hair. And the ambience in this game is so scary. <laughs> like it never stops hitting. I'm basically chill, and I'm not gonna lie. I have mastered I'm this scared. game, quotation marks, uh, but I'm gonna get like a scared little baby the second we get back to FNAF 2. Yeah. Yeah, FNAF 2 coming from this game feels like just like a sensory 
overload nightmare. It is literally like, uh... It's like throwing a flashbang into a dark room. <laughs> Oh my god, Lyra and I am so sorry. Summer in the desert is ah. the worst. Ah! That was the scary. I gotta stop saying the fucking scary. I gotta beat that shit <laughs> out of my vocabulary. I know, you're fucking echolalying it into me, and now I'm not gonna stop saying it. It's such a funny, though. It is that funny. You fucking, you fucking beat fucking fucking nobody care me into my vocabulary until literally everyone <laughs> in my life told me to stop saying it. <laughs> I got big oh, laughs dead. the we're first dead. time I said it. Oh, it's Jover. It's Jover. Oh my fucking god, why was that so loud? Five Nights at Freddy's. Alright, so the non-believers did win, but I don't know if I can, I can cash out the prediction without closing FNAF and going through the whole rigmarole again. So I'll just cash oh. it out in between games. Unless Alyssa can figure out how to work predictions. Um. <laughs> I keep looking over to see that honky is an allowed term and it makes me happy. Uh, I voted so I'm not allowed to manage the prediction. Hazel. We'll see if she's even listening to the stream right now. Go bother her. Go bother her like a cat. Interrupt her zen state. Fucking knock shit off her desk. Spill water on her keyboard. She'll love Smoking. it. It's for her little sister. Smoking your the scary weed. <laughs> Sometimes shit is the scary. <laughs> oh, I love MGS2. Obviously, that's not a hot take by any means, but I do love that MGS2. I also played Persona 4 Golem during COVID. Uh, and that made me hate that game because it sucks. It's for babies <laughs> and it sucked. Uh, I, also, I also watched David Gellion and played Nier and Umarangi and I'm sure other games. Um, I love... I don't even hate Persona 4 for all the gay people reasons. I hate it because it's bad. I see that I shit and I'm like, I, I wish Scooby-Doo... This is like if Scooby-Doo sucked. I love Mir. People only hated MGS2 because they're homophobic. Cheek is in the door. Like, I'm not even saying that pretentiously. Like, literally, dudes just hated the fact that Snake had long hair and Raiden was girly, quote unquote. Straight men had not yet developed a taste for this top of the hour ad break, which you could dodge for five dollars or for free by subscribing with a Twitch or Amazon Prime subscription. You gave that ad for like it was your dying breath. <laughs> I, I think it was. Yeah, exactly. Was that exactly. funny? Was that funny? Did I, do I thought it was funny. I laugh. Thank you. I'm glad you find me funny if you didn't know what I love Raiden. He's my sad little guy. I he's thought my you funny were going to say man. May, and I was like, oh, oh. Because then you <laughs> didn't say it, and I was like, oh, fuck, she hates me. I also love May, but now is not the moment for me to say that. Thank you. I needed that. Yeah. Got you, buddy. Bye. Dude, I think there's like, there's like a, I'm inhaling like the fumes in the FNAF 1 office because I, I become a bad poster <laughs> the second I fucking sit down here. Solid Snake is the exact type of like, Kind of dumb, kind of smart guy with a heart of gold that even as a lesbian, I'm like, I love him so much. That's, that's funny for me. <laughs> I'm not even up. fucking joking. I'm not joking. <laughs> Bonnie's a stand up guy. He is a butch to me. I feel you. I accidentally just threw a Baja Blast bottle at the cat because I'm not used to the thing being things on my couch. <laughs> oh. Uh, cat update. Let's quickly cover all of the yeah, things. Yeah, how's she hanging? So how's basically, she hanging? um, 
she has no chip. She is a girl, because uh, chat only saw her on her first night. I took her to the vet. She does not have a chip. Uh, she is a girl. We have now named her Pickle after Pikachu, because she wandered into my house like Pikachu from Pokemon Channel. And Foxy just killed me. Hi, Foxy. And um, she's very cute and very lovely. And I have contact on my landlord about her. And she believes that it might be owned by someone in the neighborhood, but she does not know who. So she sent me on a side quest uh, to go talk to one of my neighbors who she doesn't even know. She just vaguely knows that there is a person who lives on the block who might know whose cat it is. Well, uh, she she seemed to imply that like this is like a person who knows about everyone else in the neighborhood. Yeah. So, so literally, May got sent on a side quest to go meet like the village gossip, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And I knocked on her door, <laughs> and she was not there. Uh, so I'll have to knock tomorrow morning. Like it's a fucking. But, but if this is the cat that May's landlord is thinking of, she's a cat that the owner just like lets out all the time and doesn't have a chip, and no one and loves. doesn't have a chip and a collar. Yeah, I, I had to put a collar on her. Uh, so basically, I also posted about her on local cat Facebooks. I posted about her on Nextdoor. Nothing. Hi, Ren! No one has one come to claim Pickle. Um, so I'm going to knock around for a few more days. Tip the cat to a assert dominance. <laughs> I, I considered it. I considered it. I know Joe considered it. <laughs> That's like my cat then, if I chip it. <laughs> uh, but she's very sweet. She's the sweetest girl in the world. Um, yeah, I guess I'm kind of... Mace kind of my sister-in-law, I suppose. Uh, suck off sister-in-law? Is that what yeah. chat's saying? That's nice. Sisters-in-laws? Sisters? -in -laws? Suck off in law <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. She's Little Miss Pickle, parentheses, Pikachu, parentheses, Pimmers, parentheses, uh, up, and then it's just a picture of Pikachu. Oh my god. That Alyssa was it's me. On. The lore implications of that would be crazy, dude. The lore implications would be quite fucking crazy. My fucking face when it's me. My face when it is Swampy me. second sister, shut, shut up! up. <laughs> there have been fucking moments where uh, we just talked in news, and I, I, I've caught a lot of stream clips recently where me and Hazel are perfectly in sync. <laughs> and it is very Hazel, scary. Hazel, have, Hazel and I have made noises at like the same pitch together before. Like a group of cats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we've both gone like, oh, in the same. Bro pitch. wasn't even in the same fucking area code as me. Get fucked, Foxy. <laughs> yeah. Nobody loves you. Nobody care you. You're no longer the the gay yaoi bait that everyone thought you were. Everyone. I, I do always think that Foxy's jump scare being him just kind of leaning in like, hey, bro, you free? Is <laughs> very funny. Hey man, you wanna get Taco Bell tonight, or...? That's my FNAF noise. Yeah? I like it. Foxy is a good guy. <laughs> We're playing real FNAFs and not real FNAFs. Wait, where 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 did game go? Did it crash? No, oh, we back. May, are you there? May. Hello. Hi. May. I'm scared. <laughs> Wait, chat, can you hear me, though? <laughs> oh, OBS. Wait, why? Wait, so you guys can hear me? Okay, I guess this is my stream now. <laughs> um, well, hey. Um... 
So how about that Freddy, huh? I'm gonna Google search Five Nights at Freddy's Creepy Pasta. Because I'm curious how you could even creepy pasta uh, a game that's already kind of creepy pasta. Oh, is the whole entire stream? Oh my god, the stream just crashed. Oh my god, the stream just crashed. Oh my god, the stream just crashed. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> May, are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm there. Hi, 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 hi. 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 Hello. Hi. Oh my God! It just said my stream. It just said my stream key is gone. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna actually. Hi. Hello. I think we're back. We're back. We're back. I think we're back. Hi. I think we're back. I think we're back. Wait. 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 I'm seeing flickers of cat. Yes, that is what I was doing. Oh I was God. trying to get cat cam set up and in the process broke the entire stream. Nice. This is going to make She's me VOD. very fucking cute. Uh, terrible to repair. I'm going to go fix my room setup because I broke, I, I dropped my switch out of its dock trying to set up this camera. Oh my God. <laughs> She's so fucking cute. Pickle moment. Hi, pickle. Hi. Oh, no signal moment. Jack, can you still hear me? Oh, thank you, Jan. Okay, cool. I like wasn't sure if the the chat was or if the stream was just pickle now. Hello. Hello. Hi. She's so cute. It's twisted. It is honestly twisted. Look at her. She's so cute. She is the moment. She does have a pouty looking face. Oh, dude, we Yo, lost... Yo, we got Bonnie in chat. We lost so many viewers in the crash. Yeah, whoops. It is because my OBS got overwhelmed. I think me doing Discord capture is sadly part of it. Oh, okay, yeah. I mean, don't don't worry about Discord capture. Then I, think, just... I think it's because it's Discord capture, and then it is my OBS, and then it is my graphics card trying to play the game at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. I'll just uh, look at the gameplay on stream. I'll have to be a little bit more than you. Yeah. All right. Cool. Um... I forgot I'm not subscribed anymore, so I'm about to get hit with the ad break. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Or wait, am I not? I thought I... Someone gift to sub to Alyssa. Okay, wait. No, no, no. I still have a little bit of a sub left over. Why am I seeing the time oh mod view shows me the add time bar i see sorry there's still like a lot of things i don't know about how twitch works look at how cute she is she is so cute maddie you're subbed there's a sub icon next to you yeah she's with all of her pikachu friends Anyway, uh, back to the video game. Yeah, back to f Fred. 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 
Alfred. Would, ch would chat like a little bit of the cat cam at all times? I would like a little bit of the cat cam at all times. Yeah, of course. She is so cute. She's so May, what's, cute. What's your favorite Pokemon, May? Uh, I don't. You can't ask me that. That's a lot. Really? You don't. You don't have like one or two? Ah. Marie, Pulu are the big ones. I like Tepig a lot. I like uh, mm. a lot of like Galar Pokemon. I like a lot of Pokemon. I think Umbreon, Umbreon, Umbreon. Obviously Umbreon, sorry. Umbreon, Umbreon. really? Yeah, Umbreon. Interesting. For a long time, mine was Eevee because I saw Eevee as a kid and I loved her so much. I'm um, glad but... how uh, Hazel and uh, Maddie knew it before I knew it. Yeah, it's shiny <laughs> Umbreon. I don't even know why I, yeah, yeah, it's Umbreon. Uh, but them giving Eevee and anime girl voice and the Pikachu and Eevee games made me actually not like Eevee anymore for a while. I like Eevee again now that they've gone back to the weird sounds, but yeah, it now that's kinda, back to being a creature. In the interim, it kind of stopped being my top favorite. So my top favorite is Hatena, and I know this is probably a bit of recency bias, but I really love Tinkaton as Tinkaton well. Tinkaton fucking rocks, dog. She's so cute. Um, I'm also, I I'm wouldn't say this Pikachu. is in my top favorites, but JBI also love Runa Fliss. I love Pikachu. Pikachu is always good. I, yeah. uh, I like Runa Rigas, the, uh, Galarian Yon Mask evolution. I think I love that freak. Bye, Bye Hazel. Me. Hazel. Oh my God. Do you see how used I am to speaking to Hazel? Why did the that... camera die? Hold up. I have to go fix the camera. I keep addressing you instead, May. Anyway, oh, the camera died. Um, I did not fucking know Eevee is voiced by Madoka. That's crazy <laughs> and weird because I like Madoka's voice quite a lot, but I guess I just don't like Eevee making human sounds. Oh fuck, am I about to get murdered by the scary? Ah! Probably. And you're on night six, this is no time. Oh, hi Chica. Camera view. <laughs> Dude, this is no shade to you, GV, but I can't believe anyone likes Buzzwool. Yeah, the webcam is a, a, a FNAF security ca camera in and of itself. You okay, my baby? Yeah. Is your nail messed up? Yeah, the part where it's split is uh, starting to get really agitated. I'm not sure if I should put like a bandaid I'm on almost or... kind of like, I wonder if I should put a layer of like... That's what I was thinking of. of... Gel clear coat. Yeah, yeah. To like really yeah. hold it in place. I was thinking that. Um... I mean, I'm open to it. I would love that. If you it can go into the, go right into the bathroom underneath yeah. the sink and get me my little box of gel polishes. Oh. Pickle. Pickle. It should be under the sink somewhere in a box. Ah, uh, not that big. That makes sense that there are um, Buzzwell enjoyers in this Twitch chat. Uh, I think just like the weird like pockets of like fluid in his body like really viscerally disgust me in a way I expected to disgust everyone. That's the juice pod. Alright, you, you stream. <laughs> you go. I'm sorry. Bile Hazel! I almost called her Alyssa. We, uh, we... Um, hello? Oh my god, hi! Hello? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Well, I mean, I, I'm in pain, honestly. Wait, what right happened? Now. What happened? Um, my th my thumbnail split oh, like along my the God. bed. Yeah, and for a while I knew that that was the case. Um, but it was okay because the the nail polish that I had on was kind of forcing it in place. But now that has split as well. Oh my and, God! Uh, it hurts. 
<laughs> I'm so sorry, Queen. My hand stopped burning, so you you took the pain where I couldn't handle. Was it, it your anymore. left or your right? It was my left. Oh my god. I it's did. Sure You're right. Bond, psychic That's damage. exactly what happened. I know. Holy shit. More on okay. this later. <laughs> well, this is back. Bye. I'm going to uh, take a second to fix Hazel's nail. You can do that live on the air. Go, yeah, I'm going to fix go Hazel's nail wife. live on the air. Ooh. Hazel can't hear you, but I can. Um, we'll be sure your buds like, like actually, 18 can, can you plug this Don't in fucking reuse that can. anecdote, you little freak. <laughs> she can't hear you yelling at her. Uh... Oh, yeah, the one that doesn't have anything plugged into the other hand. Yeah. Duh. Super glue it. Um, okay. So... Are you gonna take any of your bed? Yeah. Okay. Hi. Oh, shit, it's okay, I can also hear you now. Hi. Oh. Let's go. Which one of these? Space. More like based. Bro, oh. I'm such a little fucking. I used too much yeah, power. Yeah. I'm just gonna do it over the part that's yeah. cracking. So wait, how did your nail break? I really don't know. Oh. I think um, I, I I keep my finger fingernails pretty long, um, but they're also pretty brittle, so um. I think, oh, oh my god. Dude, I just got um, fucking both sides. <laughs> that resin smells so bad. I know. It smells like fucking black mold. Yeah, it does. Oh, like the mask from... The yeah. From, you know. More on that later. I heard Alyssa say those words earlier, and it felt like, um... It... Wait, the mask? What mask? No, no, no. Um, more on that later. Oh. Dude, uh, I have... I couldn't come up with the analogy in time, but, but I, 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 I compared something like, earlier. In my, in my yeah, core. Yeah, I, um... I, um... Sorry, I, I put on a bunch of Nessie retro videos for... I just tapped out of the game. I put uh, a bunch of Nessie Restro videos for Pickle, uh, to the point where I left for an hour and I left her on the couch with one of the videos and she had not moved a single inch. Aww, baby cat. She's it's just so like baby. Me. You know, um, in the, in the, the most recent Star Wars movies, mm -hmm. um, there's that, that, uh, thing that Kylo Ren has on his face after he gets a, a cut on his face and it oh, looks like, the like, little, a, like, like a carbon fiber star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so cute. Th that's what my thumb looks like right now. <laughs> I miss Kylo Ren. I'm so mad because someone in the Geno server who wasn't me or Leyren uh, uh, claimed Kylo Ren and won't give him to me. <laughs> oh, you know that motherfucker's just doing it because you want it to. Well, I'm hol I'm now. holding the idle bitch from One Piece hostage. So if anyone wants to fucking trade him to me, <laughs> did May die again? I don't know. Oh, I'm did looking May at die? the beautiful oh. cat. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm Ren, really for looking context. at her on my TV screen. Like, she's so beautiful. <laughs> we have the Mudai bot in one of my friend's servers, which is the one where you can, like, gotcha roll uh, waifus and husbands and claim them and fight for them with your friends. Is this not... Are, are we not done? No, I still gotta do a top coat. Oh, God. Just one one last layer and then then it's all done. I'm oh bending over to Oh my gosh, she's looking at herself in the TV. She's looking at herself in the TV. That's why she's- May, you're streaming. Look alive. I am! I think- I... I'm sorry, I can multitask, unlike you little miss fucking broken nail. <laughs> I don't understand the correlation there. Low blow queen. Failure and I'm wonderful and working! <laughs> Love you, sis. May, if you ever break any bones, May's uh, Hazel's. Oh, oh my, my god, god, Jesus. 
May I I still I I I'm too tired. I'm too tired. I, oh, I'm so tired. Which one is your wife so and which one is your your sister in law? Hazel is my wife, but I don't have to say her name that often because I'm always talking to her. Oh shit! There's a there's a creepy man in my room. There's the scary in my room. Where's the scary? Kylo Ren is endearing in a way that he should be pegged to hell and back and make him grilled cheese afterward. But that feels like. A you're right, and you should say it. Yeah, that's true. You're the only person who's ever been right about Kylo Ren. Ren, that's like when you would claim your bishi on DeviantArt. It's literally exactly the same. <laughs> oh, good time. Wait. No, we we tried to just figure this out last time. Sister-in-law. Okay, what is sister-in-law? Sister-in-law is the sister of the... It, wait, sister-in-law is the wife of the Hayes, person who is your sibling. Is that true? Yes. Okay. Is that... Chat, Ch is that real? I think. <laughs> I can never remember family tree. Cool. Okay, cool. If you get like even one level of detached from someone on a family tree, I've instantly lost track of who you are. You... Let me take that. Let me take that back. Oh. Put it back under Thank you, Angel. I'm sorry. Hold up. Quick question. No, the whole thing. Is huh? this strip of thing. door right here usually this red? Um. It feels like it looks different, and I'm not sure why. I feel like it is, but. Every copy of Five Nights at Freddy's is personal at home. Wait, okay. Sister-in-law is your sibling's wife. Okay, yeah, I mean... Yeah, so sister-in-law. Yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. But, oh, 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 Layron might be confused because uh, the, the lores that May and Hazel are sisters. Well, because we are. Not. What? I'm sorry. But, but they are. Spiritually, you guys are sisters the way Yakuza are brothers. We're, we're sisters in the same way that we. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. You want to finish that sentence, May? We shared that womb like a home. No, you're fine, Layer, and I, I literally just got confused because I'm so bad at the math of. It's n none of it's People real. being related. <laughs> You're right. Uncles aren't real and aunts aren't real. My sister-in-law is also a Lauren. That's crazy. I keep looking at the cat and getting distracted. She's she's a bad she's influence. so she's so square right now. <laughs> she's so square. She's loafed up. And imagine, imagine being able to call her Pimmers. Lokeen said, I call everyone auntie, uncle if they're older, or cousin if they're younger. Are you Filipino? A genuine question. <laughs> ah! Oh, is she getting eepy? She might be getting oh, eepy. The Bonnie jump scare woke her up. <laughs> She's kind of contemplating life. Ganyan, gotcha. FNAF 6 is kind of- FNAF Night 6 is kind of hard. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna- I'm gonna lock in place. I'm gonna get good. I also get really square when I'm sleepy. You just repaired, uh, Hazel's nails, right? Yeah. My hand just got hot again. <laughs> I I don't know why your hand would be burning from handling peppers if you don't have any cuts on your hand. Psychic link moment. The year was 1987. Freddy Fazbear's had reopened. Oh my God, I decided to go. I was 12, so the animatronic shows were kind of dumb. The balloon boy was stupid. Kid Cove was only for little kids, but one area I liked, the puppets area. 
he gave me prizes, nothing else. His area was not quiet because it had a faint music box in the background that always calmed me down. The only downside was that the puppet was creepy. He had an odd smiling face and never said a word. He only laughed when he gave kids prizes, but back to what I was saying. It was a great place and had delicious pizza and fun games. But sadly, one time I'm accidentally sorry, what are you got reading? accidentally got locked in the pizzeria. I walked around trying to find a spare key or something to break the door with. I found a room labeled Parts and Services. I knew old animatronic pieces were in there. It might break a door. I opened it. It was dark. Luckily, I had a flashlight with me. <laughs> I turned it Queen? on. I'm reading the new Freddy Fazbear's. What? It's a creepy pasta. Oh, um, speaking of, you should probably read uh, the Treasure Island creepypasta. Okay, I'll, I'll just read that one. I'm going to skip to the end of this. It's, pretty, it's probably yep. going to be that spring trap's in the back room, right? The puppet rose out of the box. He said, let's play and ran after me. I was quicker, but just by a bit. I quickly unlocked the door, got out outside, and locked it up again. I ran home crying. I got back home, haunted by the nightmare that forever stayed in my mind. The memory of the puppet. It's me. Picture of the puppet. Okay. <laughs> I love how all of those pictures are usually added by someone who isn't the original author. They're just there to be there. Just add a little flavor. Um, okay. Creepy pasta. Yeah, I think it's just called um, uh, Treasure Island. It it's actually one of the like the first good creepy pasta. Like genuinely, I think I think it's not punchline, but its climax is a little weird. But I think the like build up to it is actually really good. It is. Do I just search Treasure Island Creepypasta? You'll find it, yeah. I'm having trouble finding it. A tape from Treasure Island? No, what is it actually called? I'm so sorry, give me a second. I'm just seeing one called The Tape from Treasure Island. It's got scary, jump scared. Abandoned Minnie by Mouse Disney. Abandoned by Disney is the original pasta. Uh, name. Oh, here it is. How long is this? Jesus! Okay, a lot of this is comments. You can survive. You'll do okay. All right. All right, it's fine. I, I like to read stuff. I just hate long, boring stories. Oh, it's good. I promise <laughs> it's good. I promise okay. that my Disney is good. Okay, okay, here we go. Uh, some of you may have heard that the Disney Corporation is responsible for at least one real live ghost town. Disney built the Treasure Island Resort in Baker's Bay in, in the Bahamas. It didn't start as a ghost town. Disney's cruise ships would actually stop at the resort and leave tourists there to relax in luxury. This is a fact. Look it up. Disney blew $30 million on the place. Yes, $30 million. Then they abandoned it. Disney blamed the shallow waters, too shallow for their ships to safely operate. And there was even blame on... Uh, blame cast on the workers, saying that since they were from the Bahamas, they were too lazy to work a regular schedule. Oh my! <laughs> Can't tell Disney if the racism being is coming. racist? Is it's... it coming from the Disney or is it coming from the pasta? We'll never know. No, no, it's from Disney. It's from Disney. Okay, okay. That's where the factual nature of their story ends. It wasn't because of sand and it wasn't because foreigners are lazy. Uh, both are convenient excuses. Okay. <laughs> No, I sincerely doubt those reasons were legitimate. Why don't I buy the official story? Because of Mowgli's Palace. Near the beachside city of Emerald Isle in North Carolina, Disney began construction of Mowgli's Palace in the yeah, late 1990s. Beast. Wait, what? Slime Beast? I, I was it's talking about uh, Hazel. Continue, continue. Sub submission by Ed, but maybe it's, that's it's a Slime Beast. Reason. It's Slime Beast. Okay. We're dead. Woo! The concept was a jungle-themed resort with a large, you guessed it, palace in the center of the whole thing. If you're unfamiliar with the character of Mowgli, then you might better remember the story of the Jungle Book. If you haven't seen it anywhere else, you'd know it as the Disney cartoon from decades past. Mowgli is an abandoned child in the jungle, essentially raised by animals and simultaneously threatened slash pursued by other animals. Mowgli's palace was a controversial undertaking from the start. Uh, Disney bought up a ton of high-priced land for the project, and there was actually a scandal surrounding some of the purchases. The local government claimed eminent domain on people's homes and then turned around and sold the properties to, Z to Disney. At one point, a home that had just been constructed was immediately condemned with little to no explanation. 
The land grabbed by the government was supposedly for some fictional highway project. Knowing full well what was going on, people started calling it Mickey Mouse Highway. <laughs> Uh, then there was the concept art. A group of stuffed shirts from Disney Corporation actually held a city meeting. They intended to sell everything, uh, sell everyone on how lucrative this project was going to be for everyone. When they showed the concept art, this gigantic Indian palace surrounded by jungle, staffed with men and women in loincloths and tribal gear, well, suffice to say, everyone flipped their shit. We're talking about a large Indian palace jungle and loincloths, not only in the center of a relatively wealthy area, but also a somewhat xenophobic area of southern USA. It was a questionable mix at that point in history. One member of the crowd tried to storm the stage, but he was quickly subdued by security after he managed to break one of the presentation boards over his knee. This, like, creepypasta is so weirdly, like, grounded in reality and also overblown in a way that only weird creepypastas can be. It is a specific brand of Disney park hyperfixation, like the defunct land strain, <laughs> but like... Yeah, I, I don't know if you can tell, but I feel like I keep slipping into like doing a defunct land cadence while I'm reading this. Like, it's, it, it's, it's just it's, coming it's, naturally. Again, the Bandit anyway. Disney is a great fucking creepypasta. No surprise <laughs> to anyone here except for Alyssa. I've never read it. Um, Disney took that community and essentially broke it over its knee as well. The houses were raised, the land was cleared, and there wasn't a damned thing anyone could do or say about it. Local TV and newspapers were against the resort at the beginning, but some insane connection between Disney's media holdings and the local venues came into play, and their opinions turned on a dime. So anyway, Treasure Island, the Bahamas. Disney sunk those millions in and then split. Same thing happened with Mowgli's Palace. Construction was complete. Visitors actually stayed at the resort. The surrounding communities were flooded with traffic and the usual annoyances associated with an influx of lost and irate tourists. Then it all just stopped. Disney shut it down and nobody knew what the hell to think, but they were pretty happy about it. Disney's loss was pretty hilarious and wonderful to a large group of folks who didn't want it in the first place. <sighs> um... I honestly didn't give the place another thought since hearing it closed over a decade ago. Maybe I, li I live maybe four hours from Emerald Island, so I really only heard the rumblings and didn't experience any of it firsthand. Then I read this article from someone who had explored the Treasure Island Resort and posted a whole blog about all the crazy shit he found there. Stuff just left behind. Things smashed, defaced, probably ruined by disgruntled former employees who had lost their jobs. Hell, the locals from all over had probably had a hand in wrecking that place. People there felt just as angry about Treasure Island as folks here did about Mowgli's Palace. Uh, plus, there were rumors that Disney had released their aquarium stock into the local waters when they closed, including sharks. Who wouldn't want to take a few swings at some merchandise after that? Uh, let's see. Um, well, what I'm getting at here is that this blog about Treasure Island got me thinking. Even though many years had passed since its closing, I figured it might be cool to do some urban exploration at Mowgli's Palace. Take some photos, write about my experience, see if there was anything I could take home as a memento. I'm not going to say I wasted no time in getting there because honestly it took me another year after I first found the Treasure Island article to get around to going up to Emerald Isle. Over the course of that year, I did a lot of research on the Palace Resort, or rather, I tried to. Naturally, no official Disney site or resource made any mention of the place. That had been scrubbed clean. Even odder, however, was that nobody before myself had apparently thought to blog about the place or even post a photo. None of the local TV or newspaper sites had one word about the place, though that was to be expected since they had all swung Disney's way. They wouldn't be out there lauding their embarrassment, you know? Um, recently I learned that corporations can actually ask Google, for example, to remove links from search results, basically for no good reason. Looking back, it's probably not that nobody spoke of the resort, but rather their words were made inaccessible. So in the end, I could barely find the place. All I had to go on was an old as hell map I'd received in the mail back in the 90s. It was a promotional item sent out to people who had recently been to Disney World, and I guess since I had been there in the late 80s, that was recent enough. I didn't really intend to hang on to it, it just got shoved in with my books and comics from my childhood. I'd only remembered it months into my research, and even then it took another few weeks to locate 
the research bin my parents had shoved it all into. But I did find it. Locals were no help, as were most transplants who had moved to the beach in recent years. Or old residents who just sneered at me and made rude gestures the second I managed to say, where would I find Mowgli's dot dot dot. Uh, the drive took me through an inordinately long corridor of overgrowth. Uh, tropical plants that had run rampant and overpopulated the area mixed with the native species of flora that actually belonged there and had tried to reclaim the land. I was in awe when I reached the front gates of the resort. Tremendous monolithic wooden gates whose supports to either side looks like they must have been cut from giant sequoias. The gate itself had been gouged in several places by woodpeckers and eaten away at. Uh, at the base by burrowing insects. Creepy pastas are way too long-winded. Like, I do not need all this prose. We all need this prose. No, it's too much. It's boring. <laughs> Hanging on the gate was a sheet of metal, some random scrap with hand-painted letter scroll on the back. Ah! Abandoned by Disney. Clearly the handiwork of some past local or an employee who wanted to make some small protest. The gates were open enough to walk through but not drive, so grabbing my digital camera and the map, whose flip side showed a layout of the resort, I set off on foot. The inner grounds of the place were just as overgrown as the entryway. Palm trees stood untended and ragged among piles of their own coconuts. Banana plants similarly stood in their own stinking, bug-riddled bug refuse. There was this sort of clash between order and chaos as carefully planted rows of perennial flowers mixed with obnoxious tall weeds and stinking blackened mushrooms. All that remained of any outdoor structures were broken, rotting wood and various charred bits of unidentifiable material. What was likely an information booth or an outdoor bar was now simply a pile of assorted debris chopped up by past vandalism and ravaged by weather. The most interesting thing on the grounds was a statue of Baloo, the friendly bear from the Jungle Book, which stood in a sort of courtyard in the front of the main building. He was frozen in a jovial wave to no toward no one, staring into empty space with a silly toothy grin as bird shit covered whole swaths of his fur and so vines and snared shatters. his platform. Someone asked earlier, we are still playing fa uh, fan games, but we also need to quickly finish FNAF 1. Uh, we're reading the Treasure Island Abandoned by Disney creepypasta before we hit Treasure Island. Yeah. Um... I approached the main building, the palace, only to find the outside of the building covered in graffiti where the original paint hadn't peeled and chipped away. The front doors weren't just open, they'd been taken off their hinges and were stolen. Above the front doors or the gaping mall where they had been, someone had once again painted Abandoned by Disney. I wish I could tell you about all the awesome stuff I saw inside the palace. Forgotten statues, abandoned cash registers, a full-fledged secret society of homeless bums, but no. The inside of the building was so stark, so bare, that I actually think people had stolen the molding off the walls. We Anything that was too big to steal- order, juniors will probably come very late. <laughs> yeah. Anything that was too big to steal, counters, desks, fake giant trees, they were all resting amid this empty echo chamber that amplified my every step, like a slow rat-a-tat of a gun machine- of a machine gun. I checked the floor plan and headed to all the locations that might seem in any way interesting. The kitchen was as you'd imagine, an industrial food prep area with all the appliances in space, no expenses spared. Every glass surface was broken, every door knocked off its hinges, every metal surface kicked and dented. The entire place smelled like very old piss. The huge freezer, not even remote, oh my god, not even remotely cool now, had row upon row of empty shelf space. Hooks hung from the ceiling, probably for hanging cuts of meat, and as I stood inside for a moment, I noticed they were swinging. Each hook swung in a random direction, but their movements were so slow and small it was almost impossible to see. I figured it had been caused by my footsteps, so I stopped one from swinging by clutching at my fist, then carefully letting it go. But within seconds, it started to swing once more. The bathrooms were in much the same state as the rest of the place. Just like Treasure Island Resort, someone had methodically smashed each porcelain commode with coconuts and other implements. Uh, there was about half an inch of rancid, stinking, stagnant water on the floor, so I didn't stay there very long. What's odd is that the toilets and sinks and the bidets in the ladies' room, yes, I went in there, <laughs> all dripped, leaked, or ran freely. It seemed to me they should have shot the water off long, long ago. There were plenty of rooms in the resort, but naturally I didn't have time to look through all of them. The few I did peer into were similarly wrecked, and I didn't expect to find anything there. 
I thought there was actually a television or radio in one room, as I really think I heard a conversa a quiet conversation coming out. Though it was like a whisper, probably my own breathing echoing in the silence, or another case of the sound of flowing water playing tricks on my mind. This is what it sounded like. I didn't believe it. Short unknown reply. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Your father told you. Unknown reply. Or possibly just weeping. <laughs> I know, I know, that sounds ridiculous. I'm just telling you what I experienced, why I thought there might have been something running in that room, or worse, some vagrants who had holed up in there and probably would have knifed me. At the front doors of the palace again, I figured I hadn't found anything of note, and I had wasted the trip up. As I looked out the door, I noticed something interesting in the courtyard that I had apparently missed. Something that would give me at least one thing to show for all my trouble, even if it was just a photograph. There was a lifelike statue of a python, maybe 80 feet long, coiled up and sunning itself on a pedestal right in the center of the area. It was almost time for the sun to start setting, so the light fell onto the object in the perfect way for a photograph. I approached the python and snapped a photo, then I stood on my toes and snapped another. I moved closer again to get the detail of its face. Slowly, the python lifted its head, looked directly into my eyes, turned and slithered off the pedestal, across the grass and into the trees, all 80 feet of it. Its head long disappeared into the woods before its tail even left the sunning spot. Disney had released all their exotic animals onto the grounds. Right there on my floor plan map was the reptile house. I should have known. I'd read about the sharks at Treasure Isle and I should have known they'd done this. I was dumbfounded, just utterly stupefied. My mouth must have been hanging open for the longest time before I came back down to earth and snapped it shut. Someone I blinked said a few times. That they heard Python as pipe bomb, and I just want to have that immortalized. <laughs> um, I blinked a few times and backed away from where the snake had been, back toward the palace. Even though it was totally gone, I still wasn't taking any chances and backed my way into the building. It took. I took. Oh, it took a few deep breaths and slaps to my own face to get me uh, right in the head again after that. I looked for a place to sit down as my legs were feeling a bit like jelly at this point. Of course, there was no place to sit down unless I wanted to recline in the broken glass and dead leaf carpet. Or haul myself onto a desk of questionable reliability. I'd seen some stairs near the palace's lobby and decided to go have a seat there until I felt better. The staircase was far enough away from the front of the building to be relatively clean, save for a startling accumulation of dust. I pulled a wedge of metal off the wall, once again painted with the abandoned by Disney motto I'd become accustomed to, placed the wedge on the stairs and sat on it to keep it at least somewhat clean. The stairway led downward, uh, below ground level, using my camera flash as a sort of improvised flashlight. I could see that the staircase ended in a metal mesh door with a padlock. A sign on the door, a real sign, read mascots only, thank you. This perked up my spirits a little bit for two reasons. One, a mascots only area would have definitely had some interesting stuff back in the day. Two, the padlock was still in place. Nobody had gone down there. Not the vandals, not the looters, nobody. I, this was the one place I could actually explore and perhaps find something interesting to photograph or wantonly steal. I'd come to the palace essentially agreeing with myself that it was okay to take anything I wanted because, hey, abandoned. It didn't take much to bust the lock. Well, actually, that's wrong. It didn't take much to bust the metal plate on the wall that the padlock was hooked to. Time and decay had done most of the work for me and I was able to bend the metal plate enough to pull the screws out of the wall, something nobody else had apparently thought of or hadn't been able to do at the time. The mascot's only area was a startling and very welcome change from the rest of the building I'd seen. For one, every second or third fluorescent floor of, uh, light overhead was illuminated, even though they flickered and faded randomly. I, I hate when stuff is illuminated in horror. Like, I get it, you need light, but who's paying the electricity bill for this? Well, that's like the point of the story. I, I know, but I don't like it. Also, nothing had been stolen or broken, even if age and exposure were definitely taking their toll. Tables had notepads and pens. There were clocks, even a punch-in clock on the wall, complete with a filled-out time card. Filled-out time cards. Chairs were scattered around, and there was even a small break room with an old, static-filled television and long, rotted-out food and drinks on the counters. It's like one of those post-apocalypse movies where everything is left in the state of evacuation. As I walked the maze-like sub-basement hallways of the mascots-only area, the sights just became more and more interesting. As I went further, desks and tables were knocked over, papers scattered and almost melded with the damp floor, and a large carpet of mold was slowly overtaking the rotting crimson floor covering. Wait, did you beat Night 7? 
6 a.m. 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Blackout. Oh. oh. So are you waiting for Death's Sweet release? Ah. There you uh. go. Um. Just glancing at chat. Oh, pickles. Pickles bath time. Okay. Uh, everything was just sort of squishy. Anything wood disintegrated into mush when I applied even the least amount of force, and clothing items hanging on hooks in one of the rooms simply fell to moist threads if I tried to unhook them. One thing that annoyed me was that the light was becoming more sparse and unreliable as I went further into the dank, suffocating depths of the place. Eventually, I reached a black and yellow striped door with the words Character Prep 1 stenciled onto it. The door wouldn't open at first. I figured this was probably where the costumes were kept. I definitely wanted a photograph of that twisted, stinking mess. Try as I might, whatever angle or trick I tried, the door wouldn't budge. That is, until I gave up and started to walk away. That was when there was a slight popping sound, and the door creaked open slowly. Inside the room was completely dark, pitch black. I used the camera flash to look for a light switch on the wall by the door, but there was nothing. As I made my search, I was jarred out of my sense of excitement by a loud electrical buzz. Rows of lights overhead suddenly flashed to light, flickering and fading in and out like the rest I had passed. It took a second for my eyes to adjust, and it seemed like the light was going to just keep getting brighter until all the bulbs exploded. Uh, but just when I thought it would reach that critical stage, the lights dimmed a bit and steadied. The room was exactly as I had pictured it. Various Disney costumes hung on the walls, fully put together like strange cartoon cadavers hung from invisible nooses. There was an entire rack of loincloths and quote-unquote native clothes on hangers towards the back. What I found odd, and what I wanted to photograph right away, was a Mickey Mouse costume at the center of the room. Unlike the other costumes, it was lying on its back in the center of the floor like a murder victim. The fur on the costume was rotten and shedding, creating bare patches. What was even odder, however, was the coloring of the costume. It was like a photograph negative, a photo negative of the actual Mickey Mouse. Black where he should be white, and white where he should be black, as normally red overalls were light blue. The sight was off-putting enough that I actually put off photographing the thing until last. I took a picture of the costumes hanging on the walls, upward angles, downward angles, side shots to show an entire row of frozen putrid cartoon faces, some with plastic eyes missing. Then I decided to stage a shot, just one of the bedraggled character heads on the slick, grimy floor. I reached for the headpiece of a Donald Duck costume and carefully removed it so the thing wouldn't fall apart in my hands. As I looked into the face of the wide-eyed, moldering head, a loud, clattering sound made me jump with fright. I looked down at my feet, and there between my shoes was a human skull. It had fallen out of the mascot head and shattered into pieces at my feet. Only the empty face and lower jaw remained, staring up at me. I dropped the duck head immediately, as you'd expected, as, as you'd expect, and moved for the door. As I stood in the doorway, I looked back to the skull on the floor. I had to take a picture of it, you know? I had to. For any number of reasons that may seem silly, but only if you don't think it through. I'd need proof of what happened, especially if Disney was going to somehow make this go away. I had no doubt in my mind right from the start that even if it was just gross negligence, Disney was responsible for this. That's when Mickey, that photo-negative opposite Mickey in the middle of the room, started to get no, up. No, don't laugh! Don't laugh! Don't laugh! Don't laugh! Don't laugh! <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. The scary. Sorry. This is the scary. Pretend you're 12 years old. Okay, this is the scary. That's when Mickey, that photo-negative opposite Mickey in the middle of the floor, started to get up. <laughs> First sitting up, then climbing to its feet, the Mickey Mouse costume, or whoever was inside of it, stood there at the center of the room, its fake face just staring directly at me as I mumbled, no, over <laughs> and over and over. Don't laugh! Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, 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 sorry. With shaking hands, a violently thrashing heart, and legs that had once again turned to jelly, I managed to lift the camera and aim it at the opposite creature, now quietly sizing me up. The dig digital camera screen displayed only dead pixels in the shape of the thing. It was a perfect silhouette of the Mickey costume. Michael Mouse. <laughs> As the camera moved in my unsteady hands, the dead pixels spread, marring the screen wherever Mickey's outline moved to. Then the camera died. It went blank and quiet and broken. I raised my eyes once again to the Mickey Mouse costume. Hey. It said in a hushed, perverted, but perfectly executed Mickey Mouse voice. Oh, sorry, let me try that again. Hey. 
our Mickey Mouse hushed perverted yeah, voice. Yeah, that's, that's, that's sexy Mickey Mouse. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me try it again. Put sex in it. <clears throat> okay, sorry. Hey, want to see me take... Oh, I'm... oh fuck, I can't do this. <clears throat> you sound like the pervert from fucking Family Guy. <laughs> hey, want to see my head come off? You're... It started to pull at its own head, working its clumsy cl gl glove clad fingers around its Mickey neck. Cunt. <laughs> Cunty uh, with mouse. Clawing, clawing, impatient movements similar to a wounded man trying to pull himself and pull himself free of a predator's jaws. So now head? as it as it worked its digits into its neck, so much blood, so much thick, chunky yellow blood. I turned away as I heard a sickening tear of cloth and flesh. I only cared about getting away. Above the doorway, out of this room, I saw the final message clawed into the metal with bone or fingernails. Abandoned by God. I never got pictures out of the camera. I never wrote the blog entry about it after I ran from that place. Fled from my sanity. If not my very life, I knew why Disney didn't want anyone to know about this place. They didn't want anyone like me getting in. They didn't want anything like that getting out. So that creepy pasta rules, actually. I'm, I was laughing because it's funny, but it, it rules. We're also dead. That was really, really silly. Look at, listen, I, I, I think. I don't think creepy pastas were meant to be read by high pitched voices. Hey, I did my best. You did great. That's not what I'm saying. I like read it in my like deep, serious voice. I think the inherent scary when you're a 12 year old is having some video game boy who <laughs> yeah. his last video was about Gamergate or weed telling you about Disney. It's like, oh my God, this is like my, this is like my parasocial older brother telling me about the, the <laughs> scary at Disney. That's fair. I'm not saying creepypasta is a masculine trait. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> No, it's just hard for anything I read to sound scary. I no. fucking love the phrase. I, I want I want booty shorts that say abandoned by God across the cheeks. <laughs> You'd have to do like abandoned on the top and then it'd be by God on the on each, Yeah, you would just cheek. have to have like really tall, narrow letters. Yeah. Maybe the real treasure was the Mickey Mouse gore we found along the way. His Mickey Mouse hole. Hmm. All right, let's see. Is there anything else that would be relevant to any of the fan games that we're coming up with? Um, I've read plenty of creepypasta. How long is Sonic Daddy XA? Too long, I think. Really long. Yeah. I've also tried to read it before and I didn't find it that entertaining. Because the fan <laughs> games on the docket today are probably Treasure Island, and then probably, mm -hmm. uh, let me check the doc, actually. I was going to say that Sonic and Wario were early, but I'm actually not sure if that's true. Uh -huh. Can you check that for me, please? Um, Just you don't search... have stuff sorted chronologically, though. Uh, control F, F1, or F2. That's how you sort. Because I have everything. Well, what am I searching for? Oh, F1 or F2? Okay. Yeah, F, F2. It, we're, we're done with the uh, F1 games. Oh, wait, we're done with them? It's FNAF 1 and four fan games we've already Oh, played. right, there's not that many FNAF 1 fan yeah. games, sorry. That makes sense. Or no, it's, to clarify, it is not that there's not that many FNAF 1 fan games. It's not that there's that many fan games that released before FNAF 2 released. Because I'm, I'm not sorting it by their gameplay era, I'm sorting it by, like, their, their release era. Yeah. Um, let's see, we've got, for FNAF 2, we've got Five Nights at Fuck Boys. I think Five she Nights might... at Fuck Boys 2. <sighs> uh... I think after we play FNAF 3, we're gonna have to bunker down and play the, the first three, Five Nights at Fuck Boys. No, it's just the first two. The third one is in the FNAF 3 That's era. That's what I'm saying. After FNAF 3, we're going to need to punk her. Oh, down I see, I see, I see. Fun, uh, fuck boys. Uh, we got Five Nights at Chuck E. Cheese. Yep. Cool. Or wait. Yeah, yeah. Five Nights at Chuck E. Cheese. Five Nights to Remember? Yes, that uh, is a very early one, yeah. Five Nights at Treasure Island. 
Five Nights at Sonic's, mm -hmm. Fright Light, really scary. Those are all uh, uh, two, two crazy guy games. I don't think I have gotcha. more two crazy guy games. Five Nights at Hatsune Miku. <laughs> yeah, we'll play that one. Five Nights at Weed. Yeah, we'll play that one. Five Nights at Weed 2. Yeah, we'll play and that five one. Five Nights at Weed 3. Yeah, they were fucking speeding through that shit. <laughs> five Nights at the Krusty Krab. Five Nights at Oreos and Five Nights at Oreos 2. Oh my god, a lot of fan games came out after FNAF 2. Yeah. So I guess the so first on a our bunch docket of, There's is... a bunch of fan games after FNAF 2, and then there is some after 3, and then there is a bunch after FNAF 4. After FNAF 4... Oh, I also missed uh, the Return to Freddy's Classic, which is parentheses FNAF 3 Fake. We'll get to that later. More on that okay. later. More on that later. Okay, okay, okay. So, <laughs> so are we gonna hold off on Five Nights at Fuckboys until we play three? Yes, yeah. Okay, so then that means next on our docket is uh, Five Nights to Remember, I guess? Oh no, uh, sorry, Five Nights at Chuck E. Cheese's. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have to pop into FNAF 2, but I don't think we're gonna beat it. We're, we're, I'm gonna pop into FNAF yeah. 2, probably play a night or two, and then um, we'll hit Treasure Island, because Treasure Island yeah, released hit. just early enough that it was yeah. basically being worked on before FNAF 2 release. It just came out after. Right, okay, cool. Yeah, let's do Treasure Island after. Most, most of the other FNAF 2 fan games uh, take place, like they started development after FNAF 2 was made, if that makes sense. Like those nights yeah. to remember is a, it is the first Fred Bear's Family Diner game. <laughs> and that is only because Fred Bear's is mentioned in a sentence in Phone Guy's Call in FNAF uh, 2. Right, yeah, right. Five Nights at Fuddruckers. <laughs> So, uh, can I actually beat Night 6? I am going to try to get a second wind, but this just goes to show our difference in streaming uh, stamina, because I'm already kind of like, I'm done. I streamed enough. I made a mascot for the FNAF streams. I'm, I'm clicking in now and I am frightened. It's a link to a... YouTube short. Glamrock Freddy costume that is scaring me. I don't like this. I don't <laughs> like it. Freddy's kind of slaying. I'm not gonna lie. Holy shit. It's scary, but the hips don't lie. The hips are not lying. Pickle! So cute! She is very cute. She's so cozy. That's what I'm saying. She's just like me. She's lazy and she doesn't do anything all day. So, has she tried to get out of your house at all since entering it? So, that first night when we did the Armored Core stream, she was meowing a lot at the door, but the second I put a litter box in the house, she has not even gone to the door once. Huh. The second that she could poop inside, she did not care. Huh. She has adopted you. Literally, she, she, I, I'm not even doing that thing where like I, I, like she, she just has not gone for the door. The only time she has meowed is to yell at me to not even feed her, but just look at her eat. Oh, she wants you to spot check her while she eats. Hi, Bonnie. Um, May still needs to do a little bit more side questing to figure out if this cat belongs to someone. Yeah, but um, she's, but not, she's chipped. not chipped and she didn't have a collar before May found her. So, um, the next step, if she is confirmed to not have an owner, is to ask the landlord if I can get a pet. The terms of their lease can be negotiated. Yeah, meaning uh, there might need to be some May McDougal fundraiser streams. Yeah. But also, if I do get to keep her, I'd also have to get her vaccines and chipped and et cetera and et cetera. Yeah, did the vet say if she seemed like she was um, neutered? 
for a spade? Uh, they just... It's a free service to check if she's chipped, so I didn't want to bother them more. Yeah. I was basically just like, okay, what gender is it? And they're like, oh, it's a girl. <laughs> it's like, okay, cool. And then I um, left. Chat may put up a bunch of posts in, like, local Facebook groups for lost animals, so. I actually think those are usually a little more effective than posters. Yeah, I, I've... Because I've cons- if someone's looking for their cat, they're going to be checking local groups. Yeah. Like the vets that explicitly like vets tell you to check. I do think, May, that you can check her if she's spayed because usually spaying leaves like a tiny little scar on the belly in a certain spot. Okay, I will. Uh, but strip I'm not my cat later. <laughs> it might be a little hard if she's like densely furry. But she's very fat. Yes. Let's check if a cat is spayed. Let me check Google. Doctor Google. Part your cat's fur on its lower abdomen. Look for a straight. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Sometimes so she looks look like for. She's a... been pregnant. Is that true? She kind of does. She's fat. She isn't pregnant though. Is what I will say. Yeah. I mean, if she were that big and pregnant because, or if she was that fat because she's pregnant, <laughs> you could probably feel around for kittens. Yeah, uh, I would. Anyway, there would be something. Yeah, you're gonna want to lay her on her back, part the fur on her tummy, and look around for a straight scar. This may be hard to do because the tools used for spaying leave a very thin scar, which can fade and may be hard to see after it's healed. But usually, it is a straight, thin line running lengthwise. Um, also, check for. The left side of the cat's body between their rib and hip area because if the veterinarian used a flank approach the scar will be in that area so yeah you're just gonna have to check her abdomen real good i'm not gonna lie oh. this fight is so fucking hard uh wait what'd you yeah. say all for i didn't know this Some veterinarians give female cats a small tattoo as an external sign that she has been spayed. Usually it is green and drawn in the shape of a thin line located on or near the scar um, from the incision. The tattoo should be visible when parting fur. Uh, You can also check the cat's inner ear for tattoos. This is a common site for important information to be marked on pets. In the US, a letter M means that the cat has been microchipped. All the other tattoos usually mean that she is spayed. Some veterinarians practice ear clipping. Uh, it is utilized by many trap and release programs. Uh, usually the left ear has a quarter of an inch of the tip removed, just enough to give it a flat tip. She has not been uh, clipped at all. Okay. I didn't know about the clipped ears thing, yeah. but if she's, like, technically owned by someone, they probably wouldn't have done that, because I think that's usually done for wild cats Yeah, being spayed and neutered. Because, fun fact, and always get your pets spayed and neutered, um, not being spayed can make a female cat much more prone to ovarian cysts and sometimes ovarian cancer. So it's important to make sure that if a cat is not actively breeding, which as a layperson, you should not be breeding your cat, um, they need to get spayed or neutered because it is very bad for them. And yeah, they can get cat aids. Hello, my wife. Hello. Hi. It hurts way less now. I'm so glad. Yeah, hopefully, like hopefully the gloss will help protect it from yeah. either that or the resin around. seeped into the. Oh, seep into, into the, the womb. <laughs> I just uh, countered the no, 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 fuck out of Bonnie. Yeah. What was that, May? I just countered the fuck out of Bonnie. Get his, fucking ratioed. His goofy ass could not handle it. Fast Foxy can move certain nights. Me too. Alright, Freddy's in the closet. 
Do you ever like wake up on certain days and oh, it's me. You wake up on certain days and you just feel like more physically capable of doing things. It's not even like, oh, I slept better last night or like, oh, I'm in a good mood today. I'm going to get stuff done. Like there are just days where you get up and you're like, I am capable of doing I'm God's things. God's favorite. <laughs> Uh, I guess kind of like spoon theory, but I always kind of think of the spoon theory as more like like it's a stamina meter and you gotta like spend your stamina in, in certain places to get certain things done, but I, I don't I don't know what the spoon meta is Because I swear to god, I'll have days where I get up and I'm like, all right dishes cleaning yeah, fuck, nerd. cooking work I used it to draw Yaoi. That's good. It's a good way to spend it. Hazel, my angel. Please can you give your streamer wife more water? Thank you, honey. Hazel trimmed her hair and it looks so cute right now. Aww. And I put her hair in braids, so she, she's like got her work glasses on. She's looking like Homura. Oh. <laughs> so Just the opposite of what happens cute. when I trim my hair. Same. I uh, for a while. Trimming my own hair is like playing Russian roulette. <laughs> Yeah, I, I do not touch my own hair because it is just curly enough that doing that is basically suicide. <laughs> oh, bro, they are they are on my shit. They're on your shit. Fucking take me to dinner if you're gonna be on my ass like this. Yeah, I could touch my bangs, but I, I kind of like slowly looking like a Highland cow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be such a good persona for you. So we were all trying to figure out what animal you would be. I, uh... I stole so cute from Alyssa. I hate to break it to you, chat. <laughs> so cute. So cute. Actually, but I, I like stole it from Hazel, but still, I stole it from one of you freaks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you you put your own spin on it though, because you ha you say it in a very particular voice. I I I usually say like, so cute. Yeah, I had an H in there. And you go so cute. <laughs> I thought your mouth noises was a new unlocked Freddy Fazbear <laughs> sound effect I've never heard before. It's me. What are they gonna make Five Nights at Lesbians? I think that's what Sister Location is about. Ah, oh, true. Get ready to look so cute! <laughs> that was my Teen Girl Squad voice. I tried. Oh, speaking of FNAF Lesbians, uh, the voice actress of uh, Rockstar Chica, I believe? Yeah, 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 lesbian. she's a lesbian. The Sparks Joy. These are the things you have to know when you're in this business. <laughs> Which, as we all know, the voice actor being gay basically means the character is gay. Literally. Canon text. Hi, Bonnie. I love you, Bonbon. You're doing pretty good if you're Fuck careful, no, Phillies. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> Are you good? Yeah, so basically I'm God. I think Freddy might have just entered the door. God damn it. It's Jover, I fear. I'm just gonna Are time it sure? out. I'm gonna time it out. I'm gonna time it out. Freddy's in my door. I don't think you're gonna make it two hours, though. Freddy's in my door. Freddy is in my door. I heard him laugh and then he's no longer in his camera. What the fuck is happening with your webcam? I don't want to distract you. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Freddy's in the door. We just need to time it out. We are not going to survive, but Freddy, mm, if I pulled the camera. It's not even five yet. If I pulled the camera, Freddy was going to kill me. Are you sure? Yes. Freddy was in my room. 
You will be entering this boy womb soon. I don't want to be there. I'd prefer to not be there. Alright, kill me. I guess I'm looking up a how to do Night 6 fucking FNAF Academy guide. I'm going to be showing you how to beat Night 6 on Five Nights at Freddy's, so let's go ahead and get into it. Night 6, of course, is a bonus night that unlocks after beating. I also wish I was Pickle. I literally said FNAF Academy, Hazel. I I said the tuber. She did. She did credit the tuber. I'm banning this stupid bitch. Sorry. Um. this video, it's pretty much the same. So I think I'm just going to be doing a quick recap of the overall strategy, and I'm talking about some backups and fail safes as well as a few bits of information about how the AI works that I may have forgotten to mention so far. You are going to want to raise the camera a lot early on up until an animatronic enters the hallways. This is to keep Freddy and Foxy locked in place for as long as possible. There's no reason not to do it. Around here, you are going to want to I feel like you're checking your camera too much. I'm doing exactly what he's doing. Oh. So left two Freddy times in the restroom. The corner, our strategy is going to change entirely. Once Freddy is in the East Hall corner, uh, flipping off the East Hall corner camera at all will result in Freddy entering the office and killing you if the right door is open. This means actually switching off of the camera, not just lowering the monitor. So if I'm on the East Hall corner and I switch to show stage, then Freddy would kill me if he was in the East Hall corner and if the door was open. What we are going to do to prevent this is every time that we have to check another camera, mostly Pirate's Cove, that's the only camera you would really need to check aside from the West Hall, which I'll explain why you would need to check that in a little bit. But what we would do in this scenario is we would close the right door like this, flip over, flip back, open this if Chica's not there, and repeat. So let me go back to the show stage. So, yeah, you are going to want to keep the right door closed whenever flipping off of the East Hall Corner camera when Freddy is there. But ideally, we should be able to prevent him from ever getting there. Even if he the left door queen. Stage, he still has yeah. quite a while to go before arriving at the East Hall Corner, so Freddy should never reach that point on anything before night 7, anything before 420 mode. And now we're going to talk about Foxy a little bit more, some backup strategies that you can potentially use for him. Let's say you get unlucky and Foxy starts inching forward and eventually he manages to leave Pirate's Cove and starts running down the hallway. First, you need to even figure out that he's gone. In order to do this, of course, you have to check the Pirate Cove camera as there are no sound cues that will actually tell you when Foxy has left Pirate's Cove. What you're going to want to do uh, in this scenario, let's say Foxy was standing outside of Pirate's Cove the last time we looked, so he's no we know that he's going to run pretty soon. Whenever you suspect that he may have run, you're going to want to close the right door. Uh, if Freddy's in the East Hall corner, of course, so you don't need to otherwise flip over here. And if the curtains are open, then you're going to want to check the West Hall. What this will do is it will instantly trigger Foxy's attack. And you may wonder, why would we want to trigger Foxy's attack? Keep in mind, this is assuming you have the left door closed. Always check the... Always close the left door, rather, sorry. Always close the left door before you check the West Hall under any circumstances. 
And you may wonder why we want to trigger Foxy's attack instantly. It seems like a weird thing to want. Like, why would you want an animatronic to attack you and then reset quicker? The answer is simply control. If we check Pirate's Cove and the curtains are empty, Foxy could attack in 2 seconds. He could attack in 25 seconds. We don't know when he left unless we just checked recently. So, after 25 seconds, Foxy will run down the hallway and he will attack you if the left door is open. We don't want to be wondering when he's going to arrive and holding the left door closed for 25 seconds when we don't need to. We want to check the West Hall, which will instantly trigger Foxy's attack after he's left Pirate's Cove, and he will instantly come barreling down the hallway and will arrive at the door. If the left door is closed, he will bang on the door, and we can successfully open it. You can actually open it in the middle of him banging on the door. The sound effect will continue, but he will not enter the office. As soon as you hear the sound cue, he's already hit the door and reset the Pirate Cove. Sometimes, when he resets to Pirate Cove, he can reset to his peaking stage instead of the curtains are closed stage when he's on very high AI levels. So, keep in mind there is some potential that Foxy may be peeking out of the curtain instantly when he resets. No need to worry about it as long as you can keep him locked in place for a while. Another thing that um, I think most like the peaker. About that some beginners may not be fully the aware peaker. of is that Foxy drains power every time that he hits the door. Sorry, I'm being quiet so you can focus. Every single time. The first time Foxy hits the door, he drains 1% power, which it can sometimes make the difference. Oh. But it's almost always going to be not really noticeable. Ah. But when he hits the door a second time, that's when you start having problems. This time it drains 6% power. So you've lost a total of 7% power for Foxy by this point. That spells death on a 420 mode run, and it can spell death on a 95 or 6 run. Oh, gosh, damn. Let's say, hypothetically, for the sake of argument, you're trying to avoid five animatronics that are trying to kill you. It is insane how you can play this game one-handed. What did Scott mean by this? Pickle motherfucking moment. Oh, she's reaching out for herself. I'm sorry, what did the guide say Freddy goes from? He goes from stage to something, then restrooms, then East Hall. Kitchen? Is it kitchen? Let me check. Stage, dining, restrooms, kitchen, uh, East Hall. Yeah. Cool. Know if I'm capable of beating Night Six? Um, do you want to take a break and play Treasure Island? 
No, because we'd have to play FNAF uh, 2 first. Do you want to skip night 6? We beat the five nights. We did beat the five nights, but I... It's not like we get a cutscene for beating the sixth night anyway. Yeah, we do. I mean, not really, though. We get the paycheck, and that's like the big lore <laughs> drop of this game. Oh, I'll, I'll fucking drop a PNG of it in chat so you don't have to do it. Well, no, I... <laughs> I I'm trying to save you from this, from this purgatory. I'm having fun, to be very clear. I am too. I I'm getting to watch Pickle make biscuits right now, so I'm having the time of my life. You are waiting, getting to see Pickle make biscuits, because life is good and God loves you. Yeah, that's true. God made me special, and he loves me very much. Bro, Freddy's hitting me with that, that Freddy-phobic stare. <laughs> Dude, literally everyone loves Little Miss Pimmers. What would your dream FNAF game be? Like, just like the ultimate fan service to you specifically? Uh, Chica kisses... V v Vanessa kisses me. Vanessa not kisses, like that. Vanessa kisses not, me really hard. Not like that. I mean, like a real game. And she she holds me, and we have. She. I I like. I think if she kissed me, that'd be a good game. No, like a real game. What do you mean? A real Five Nights at Freddy's game. Oh, boo! But, but I, I okay. Sorry, let me get my real answer. So it's this. Security breach signal and Vanessa kisses me really hard. <laughs> Freddy in his pantsu is not a phrase I expected to read today, but I should have expected it because it's our stream. There's a there's a, a dating sim on this list. Oh fuck yeah. Wait, is it the porn game? No, it's not the porn game. Okay. Oh yeah, that one has jump scares. Never mind. I assumed it was a visual novel. I accidentally just picked night five. Oh, May, get out of here! Have to close the goddamn game. Naf romance via unironically. I mean, I would have fun with that if it was made like with any semblance of like sincerity. Well, apparently there is a FNAF VN because May's got it on the list. I don't know which one that is, though. I really want Security Breach to have a multiplayer mode where it's like you and your friends dicking around the pizza plex, but I know it would like make your computer explode to like try to load characters into the All right, guys, in all right, guys let's cook this shit. Let's cook this shit. All right, let's cook. Serious mode. Chat, chat, entertain yourselves amongst yourselves. May has to go serious mode. Okay. Okay. You got this, queen. <gasps> it has multiplayer mode. It just never... What? Wait, what? I, I did it! Huh? With my mind. Uh, but that... That night was so short. I don't know why did it was cheat? so short. I don't know why it was so short, really. Oh, it's a YouTube video, you stupid bitch. <laughs> 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 that was seamless. I literally <laughs> fucking distracted the chat while I did it. I didn't even know I was an accomplice in a crime I didn't mean to commit. Well, I'm happy. Right, Are you happy, FNAF chat? Two. Yeah, let's start FNAF 2. Alright, let's start FNAF 2. And we'll play this for like a night, and then we'll do uh, Treasure Island, and I think that'll be it. Ooh. I'm gonna go grab a little piece of chocolate from the fridge. Oh man, I want a little piece. No, I had to frosty never mind and then i think next stream we could start with a bunch more of the kind of weird fnaf games the sonics the warios yeah let's that's gonna be let's a good actually one. close this one with uh hatsune miku oh okay okay also, my ideal fnaf is if steel wool had infinite money and infinite time yeah i really like what's there of that game but i can definitely 
like kind of see vestiges of a better game inside of it, and that does make me a little wistful. Chat, Just I fucked terms. up bad, I'm not gonna lie. I accidentally made it so you that you could not see. See. I, I accidentally just uh, fucked up the beginning of FNAF 1 for you. Oh, you mean 2? Yes, sorry. Oh, you stupid. Let's you see. stupid. I know, I'm so stupid. Let's see if I can make, make it do it again. Oh, press and hold delete to re reset all data. Press and hold delete? I'm pressing and holding delete. Um. How do you delete all your save data? Mm-hmm. Bye, Ren. Thanks for coming. Ah. How to delete FNAF? Are there any games where you play as an animatronic? I'm sure among the the fan games, we'll see plenty of games where you play as an animatronic. What? Yeah, I was kind of thinking like a uh, Security Breach should have a multiplayer mode that kind of plays the way uh, like the Left 4 Dead multiplayer does of like some survivors and some some people controlling the the like zombie the special zombies there it is yeah Story. i had wendy's for dinner it was a good time look it's my friend bonnie bonnie yeah i forgot there was like a little opening cutscene. look it's my friend chica chica I just tried to boop my own nose from inside of myself. Yeah. yeah, he made the first games four by three and then randomly stretched them to 16 by nine in an update. Can you tell? What? Oh my God, that's so strange. Wow, I haven't been to Dairy Queen in so long. Guys, I don't welcome even know to if the there's a grand reopening of Freddy Fazbear's yeah. Pizza. I I think that these designs are cute, but it is funny to me how much they're like worse than the models right, in FNAF 1. Everyone's silent for the uh, the phone guy call because it'll be Linus's first gotcha. time hearing it. Okay. Cotton voice kinks. Scott served so much cunt with his voice. <laughs> Thank you. 
great bad bear head. Problem solved. You can put it on any time and leave it on for as long as you want. Eventually, anything that wandered in will wander back out. Uh, something else worth mentioning is kind of the quartz modern design of the building. You may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. <laughs> uh, but hey, you have a light, and even though your flashlight can run out of power, the building cannot. So don't worry about the place going dark. Well, I think that's it. Uh, you should be golden. Uh, check the light, put on the Freddy head if you need to. Uh, keep the music box wound up. Piece of cake. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. What? What? Did what? 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 Wait, what just happened? Oh, you know. Why did. No what? clue. Oh my goodness. Why, why did it do that? Alright, can you skip the phone guy diatribe? What? What's happening? Why is it restarting? If you accidentally press F2, it resets the entire game. Nice! Nice, 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 nice. Why did he make it such an easy to press button? Okay, yeah, you can mute the call. I think, like, pretty much nothing happens this first night, though. I'm also gonna warn you, I don't actually uh, understand how to play this game. So, uh... Something I, I hadn't really processed up until right now... The maps in this game are so much worse. How so do you mean? Like, the, the renders. These rooms kind of fucking suck. Yeah, they feel a lot more shallow. There she is! Oh, my queen! Little Miss Cunt. My little queen! There he is! My king! <laughs> Big Mr. Cock! <laughs> Daddy Big Cock's back in town. Uh, well, this game came out, like, what, two months after the first one? August to November. Okay, so three months. Yeah, her name is Mangle. Um, so I think you put out FNAF 2 and then or FNAF 1 and then shortly after it blew up and then he said, oh shit, I gotta make another one of these. <laughs> so he had two or three months to make this. Yeah, it, I've always thought it was very interesting that Scott didn't just reuse models from game to game. Yeah. Now, mind you, I know that it's partly because he's trying to tell different stories in each one, so it kind of necessitates different models, but I wouldn't have even blamed him for just, like, kind of modifying his pre-existing models, like, giving them different textures to make them, like, look like different eras of the same design. Yeah. Um, I found it funny that he felt the need to make so many brand new, unique assets for each game. He was playing the long term. He, he knew that <laughs> Evangelical work ethic. Yeah. <laughs> the Christian boy grind set, yeah, for sure. Uh, I, I've said this a million times every FNAF stream, but the reason he pumped out so many games is almost certainly because he was seeing unprecedented popularity on the first game and probably thought he needed to strike Cash while the iron was hot. Yeah. Yeah. Because Scott made games since the 90s and none of them ever did even half as good as FNAF 1 did. Oh. So. <laughs> oh my god, this game, you can finally tab out of it without it closing the window. Oh, thank fucking god. Yeah, he had to escape the target freezer hell. Also, it is insane how at no point during development he thought to bind a uh, flashlight to right or left click instead of <laughs> forcing you to use the keyboard for some reason. I think, uh, you know, having played some of his old games now, I kind of see like where his very old fashioned 
computer game dev sensibility comes from. Yeah. Uh, the music box. There's my keeps... little gay freak. Aww. The music box keeps the puppet from attacking you. And the puppet's the scary over at the price corner. I know, dude was uh, working in the fucking freezers at Target full time and making games on the side for fun. And I, I don't remember how true this is, but my recollection is how he tells it is that basically people had disliked his games for so long or like his games had done so bad that he was thinking about giving up and he kind of made Dude, five nights of Freddy's. Dude, this ambiance is so fucking obnoxious. <laughs> it sure is. Made five nights as, at Freddy's as kind of like a uh his final send off and because people had complained that his games looked scary and that the characters he modeled looked like robots he was like i'm just gonna make something that leans into those criticisms and is supposed to be scary and has robots and then that was the thing that did super well so he's like oh shit i gotta gotta pump out more of these little guys uh and yeah that's why so many fnaf games came out so quickly I saw my own shadow and I thought it was a bug and I got scared. Oh, so <laughs> ah! she could jumped at you with her little gummy face. Bro, where was she? I don't know. I can't wait to do the first hour again. Yay! Yeah, the final send-off thing might be a little bit of an ex exaggeration of that story, but either way, I think he was kind of getting frustrated with making games and kind of feeling like he just wasn't making them for any kind of audience. Yeah, Freddy looks at you during in this game. What? Does he look you in the eye after you die? Pickle cam, pickle cam. Pickle. May's gonna get killed by the scary, and she's she's playing with the cat. <laughs> oh man bronies just had their hands on everything for a, f a good several years huh hey may yeah are you gonna are you gonna play yeah i'm waiting on the phone call on the what the phone call oh there is no gameplay for the first uh, two hours. Cool. Who would you watch an X plays FNAF of? Like a fictional character or, or a real person who has not played FNAF? I think Barack Obama, but he has to pretend he's still president would be really funny. <laughs> specific premise like he would have to slip in little bits about like oh you know protecting the the restaurant is a lot like uh protecting the this United country States or protecting israel <laughs> from those and then he gets cut off by the uh the comedy sensor um oh my god no because like it'd be like a kids react obama uh sort of thing because it'd be like oh obama reacts to fnaf because it, it would be during his term. The exclamation point pretty. free Palestine chat. <laughs> I 
But if it was like recorded this week, I would I would have him like put the tan suit back on and pretend. I want I want Weird Al to play Five Nights at Freddy's and then write a song about it. He probably already has played it. You think? I don't think Weird Al plays video games. But Five Nights at Freddy's is different. Maybe. I bet Jack Black has played Five Nights at Freddy's. He has. Oh yeah, yeah he was on Guest Grumps. I forgot. I wonder if someone has made a talkloid of Miku playing FNAF. Probably. For a while, talkloid Let's Plays were pretty popular on Nico Nico Doga. Well, my point stands. Uh, a Weird Al FNAF parody would go so hard. Three, two, one, puppet. Breaking Bad FNAF fan game? I need to look that up. Is that real? I'm shocked you haven't already come across it. Five Nights at Walter White's. Huh, when did, when did it come out? Um... That feels like a 2021 meme resurgence thing. It does. FNAF Breaking Bad mod. Let's see. Bro, this fucking ambiance. Oh, what's good, white boy? <laughs> right, so what do I do about this? them crawling around. Also, Pickle's head is completely censoring this. Oh, yeah. Jack Flack said his favorite FNAF character is Springtrap. Wait, did he really? <laughs> God damn it. Why is this first night being hard? What are you doing Well, wrong? I checked the camera. I shouldn't have checked the camera. But, oh. um... Because I thought I was going to be able to check the camera and then dodge into the, uh, the mask. I thought wrong. Uh, this Breaking Bad mod is, like, really low effort. It's, like, shitty PNGs of characters just, like, pasted into the FNAF game. I can't game. imagine being a toddler who really was excited. I, I mean, I can't imagine because I was this child. No, I said I can't. Like, being so excited for FNAF 2 and that's super fucking hard. Like, I remember, uh, when the FNAF <laughs> iOS apps came out, uh, the kid I knew that could afford them, he did not buy the first game's cheats, but he did buy the second game's cheats. <laughs> I bought FNAF 1 for my iPad and then played it for one night and got too scared and didn't play any more of it than Me that. Me too. What is ricin? Is that drug paraphernalia? Poison. Pickle time. Chica's death is so brutal for no good reason. Alright, we good? Is gameplay happening yet? Gameplay... not yet, but about to be. 
I feel like if you die again, we should play Treasure Island because I'm getting a little sleepy. I agree. Mimble, what is that ugly pose? Or, sorry, not Mimble, that's my friend's cat. Pickle. Does Jesse Breaking Bad actually say bitch as much as as the memes on Tumblr would lead me to believe? Uh, so do you want to get the puppet jump scare just to show it to Linus and then move to Treasure Island? Yeah, let's do it. Did everyone enjoy that uh, pickle break? I did. I love pickle break. Bro, it's the scary. There he is. <laughs> There's Mr. Scary himself. Mr. Puppet. I can't stop thinking about the, the Joe Biden edit where he does the, the foxy jump scare. <laughs> uh, FNAF memes always make me laugh. It doesn't matter how stupid they are. They just tickle some primal part of my brain. Mr. Scary is coming. <laughs> I kind of enjoy the Moe uh, breaking bads. Usually I'm kind of repelled by that, but I find it slightly funny in this case. Can he not kill me? Do I have to flip the uh, camera it for him should. to kill me? Maybe? There we go. When will death take you? Oh. Oh, Pickle's back! Pickle's back? Oh, shit, did we get a death Pickle's mini back. Game? Oh, yeah, I forgot there's death mini games. <laughs> Bro, we Freddy Fazbear in it up. I forgot that this whole, like, aesthetic and visual didn't show up until FNAF 2. He's spelling something. Bro, there's a dead kid. I feel like we just activated Linus's FNAF brain for the first time in her life. <laughs> Thank God. All right. He's spelling help them. Yeah. By the way. Queen Crystal. One night at Hatsune Miku's. Miku! Who's your favorite Vocaloid mayor? Do you even know the characters well enough to have a favorite other than Miku? I know their voices, not really the characters. Okay. But even then, it would still be Miku. Oh my gosh. Ew! Uh... We are in the K hole. <laughs> yeah, Teto gang, rise up! I am gonna uh, get. Although she is Synthby and not Vocaloid, which is a copyright of Krypton Company. Oh. Girl, you look like shit. I don't think this is what Five Nights at Freddy's is what? like. What? Huh? What? What am I looking at right now? What? What the fuck? Huh? Huh? What? What is this? Huh? Oh! Curious, so I didn't research every game beforehand. I'm... What are you supposed to be doing? 
I feel like I'm looking at a pinball machine through a kaleidoscope. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> what is the... The scary Miku. What? What are you supposed to do? Oh, you know. Oh. Okay. I'm beyond confused. Okay, so we're also going to play One Night at Weed, uh, which is the <laughs> next game by this creator. Made, no joke, a day later. Oh, you know this one's going to be good. Anyway, my favorite Vocaloid is Rin. If I'm extending it to non cryptonloids, it's Miki. And if I am including just all officially published oh ha 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 this is very funny there's a phone guy you have a snickers cannon with i'm gonna unmute the stream hello and welcome to your new temporary job at snoop dodge you knew that if you mentioned snoop dogs to monkey weed people would laugh they just did anyway Shoot the animatronic to the snaker cannon, and you should probably be fine. Okay? I can't even hear him, it's so quiet. New temporary job at Snoop Dodge animatronic storage area. So, you have a snicker I think I'm gonna say something slightly unsurprising. What's that? Uh, I saved under all of these games <laughs> under a dev named Queen Crystal, so. I think to the surprise of no one, the Five Nights at Weeds creator is a girl now. <laughs> oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Dude, sick reference to Snoop Dogg smoking weed. I can't believe you're so clever. You were clever I enough to bring up sm S Snoop smoking weed on your stream because you knew that Snoop Dogg smoke weed and Smoke Dog, he's Snoop and you knew if you brought up the Smoke Dog smoking weed that you that people would know that and they would clap. New temporary job at Snoop Dogg animatronic storage area. You have a Snickers cannon with you. It's labeled A. What is the gameplay of this? So you have to shoot the animatronics with Snickers, but also not die. You have a Snickers cannon with you. That's funny. This, uh, I remember this is a game that I think PewDiePie played. It's really amongst the best. Animatronics with the Snickers cannon, and you should probably be fine. Okay? Hello and welcome to your new temporary job at Snoop Dodge Animatronic I like that Miku's Forger. there. She's my friend. You have She's watching over you. you. It's labeled A and D. I don't know why they labeled it like that. They just did. Anyway, shoot the I'm so unprepared for Five Nights at Fuckboys because I know it's like an RPG maker game, I think. Yeah. Uh, but I have never watched it outside of just seeing like little clips of it yeah and it just kind of seems like it's all just like abrasive meme humor uh so i really don't know what to expect from it oh boy <laughs> the bear poking out of the the vent is a little funny I see how these games were made in like two days. <laughs> not not to make a, a, a quality judgment, of course not. Just makes sense. Fair enough. What? <laughs> Holy shit! It's Freddy Fazbear. All right. Uh, let's see. Do you want to hit Treasure <laughs> Island, or do you want to tap around with yeah, Chucky for a little bit? No, let's hit that Treasure Island. All right. Chucky is also here. Look at him. Look at him. Chucky Cheese is here. But Treasure Island was the first uh, quote-unquote good fan game. Mm -hmm. Let's kick this shit. I'm so excited. Let's go. Cool. Oh, we have a 
preloader. We do. Yeah, I'm also getting hungry again. I might heat up my leftovers in a bit here. I guess now's as good a time as any to tell people my my exciting news. Yeah, I was trying to coax it out of you earlier, but you didn't budge. Oh, were you? Uh, I feel like I didn't notice. I think I thought about coaxing it out of you, and then I forgot. <laughs> uh, either way. So, I, uh, I am still going to be unemployed in two or three days, whatever. Um, th that has not changed, uh, unfortunately. But Studio Elon, uh, known for their Yuri games, um, hey buddy, it's Greg here. are going to hey, uh, so take care of my living you expenses for the month all. of September but so that I can focus on a month of basically full-time working on Love in a Bottle assets. Um, so I'm going to be basically marathoning every single piece of art needed for love in a bottle for the month of september um i'm probably gonna set up streams uh i haven't decided if i'm going to do it on Nilon's youtube or if i'm gonna do it on twitch but either way i'll let you guys know on twitter um i'm probably not gonna stream everything i do because i get kind of antsy being on stream even if i'm like <laughs> not saying that much but i'll probably do a couple of art asset streams um and yeah, it should be should be pretty fun. I'm really excited. Um, this is kind of a best case scenario for me. I wasn't going to get any unemployment, but like, let's say hypothetically, I was about to get unemployment next month. I would feel so guilty spending that month working on my personal project. So the fact that Elon is basically commissioning me to work on my own game for a month, like. Like, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. I, I, I can't feel any guilt about it. Yeah. So I, I'm really excited about being given the excuse to just, like, fully focus in on it. Because uh, I, I have not really given it my full attention at all since starting it. Just because work You've has been, been so busy. stressful. Yeah. I've been trying to keep it afloat. And it has not stayed afloat, as you can see. In fact, the whole boat has capsized. So. Woo! Yeah, uh... The boat is capsized, it, but the lesbian's gonna win for a month. <laughs> That's about it. So, September I'm going to finish all the art assets. October I will still be unemployed, but with a combination of what little savings I have, plus what some people on Twitter graciously donated to me, plus Hazel probably paying for all our food for the time being. Holy shit, it's um, the scary. How do I stop him? Oh, the scary. Yeah, I have no idea how this game works. Do I boop him? Um, <laughs> I don't think you boop him, but I do kind of want to see him kill you. Um, anyway, in October, with a combination of things, I am going to try to finish the majority of the writing, uh, and then come November or December, I'm probably going to have to start looking for another well-paying job yeah uh, which is kind of stressful because i don't know what that's going to be a lot of my usual opportunities are not available to me due to the fact that so much of the animation industry is on strike in solidarity with the writers guild so that's stressful but hopefully the right opportunity will come up at that time uh and in the meantime, I'm going to do my best to make something that hopefully people will enjoy. Is update over? Yep, that's all for update. So Let's I'm very excited and very scary. proud of you. And I'm so excited. And I'm so proud of you. And I'm so excited. And I'm so proud of you. I've been wanting to say that Thank since you. you were, because you said you're going to announce it on stream. And I've been waiting. I'm yeah. so excited for I'm you. I'm not going to lie. I forgot I was going to announce it. I know it you were. You made that now. promise when you were high. <laughs> <laughs> I did, didn't I? Um, yeah, but yeah, thank you. I'm excited. I'm very, to I'm very, it. I'm very happy for you, and proud of you, and excited. And I cannot wait to be Love in a Bottle's biggest cheerleader. Uh, and uh, thank you. Yeah, I'm very excited for you. Unemployment sucks. <laughs> <Who'd> <laughs> it guess? sure does. As as a bitch that's been fucking unemployed literally this entire goddamn year. Yeah. 
Honestly, I wish I had the savings to be unemployed a little longer because I feel like after the stress of trying to keep my job afloat for so long, like, I need a break. Yeah. But uh, a couple months is the best I got right now, so. Yeah, I'm literally only I... able to stay in the, like, uh, not dead zone due to my lovely friends who are amazing. And these streams, that that is it. These streams have been the reason I can pay rent these every month since January of this year. Yeah. Thank you, Marcy. <laughs> Thank you, Spectre. Yeah, it, it's, it's funny because usually I'm a little bit self-effacing about stuff I'm working on. But like, to be totally honest, I think if everything can come together uh, properly... Love in a Bottle is going to be something I'm going to be really proud of, and I'm really excited for people to play it, so. Teehee. Teehee. And that's that on that. So, I did not get to hear the phone conversation, because I wanted to oh, hear my sorry. phone. Oh, sorry! No, I literally muted it, so Jack could only listen to you. <laughs> Um, but this game's pretty. It has a nice visual style. Yeah, it's cool. I do feel like, uh, the visuals are kind of limited. Yeah. Like, I feel like I can see very little of anything. The, yeah, some of the, the captures are making it much darker than it actually is. You kind of need to, like, mm -hmm. fucking pull yourself into the, you know the, the how Berserk fans read Berserk meme? It's the dude fucking <laughs> humping his TV. That's what you need to do to be able to actually see this game. I have not seen that, but that's very funny. Holy shit, it's 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 goofy from Goofy. <laughs> oh yeah, so I was obsessed with the Goofy movie as a um Water is wet. <laughs> I really, really liked Roxanne. Water is wet. <laughs> yeah. I know it's wet. Am I about to ace this first night? Or I'm, I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Mm, yeah. What are you supposed to do to protect yourself? Not sure. <laughs> Glancing over at the message, pussy is wet, and being like, oh, chat, and then seeing that it's layered. <laughs> uh, the comedy into the culture very quickly. <laughs> oh, fuck, it's- how do I get rid of the scary? Uh, try squeezing his hog. I am doing that right now. Okay. Oh, he got um, me! <laughs> Sorry. The animation on his jump scare is so silly. All right, let's listen to the phone oh, call this time. The, there's the ooze. Okay, yeah, let me let me listen. Let me sit my white ass down and learn. <laughs> hey, buddy, it's Greg here. Hey, uh, so sorry again for making you do this. <laughs> You yeah, are an right. intern, after all. But we're still over here in Alabama getting our equipment ready before we head off to where you are. We are professionals, so we need to keep track of our stuff so we don't look stupid. Anyway, though, so if you're familiar <laughs> with the lore of the place, then you've probably heard of anyway, the proto-negative Mickey costume that wanders around. Thing is, though, you look like someone who doesn't care. You just want to let your time run out and get your credits. But if you do care, then listen up. That thing? From what we've heard, it can only hear. He can't see anything. So that means if he wanders into your office, then shut off one of your cameras. I know it sounds strange, but if you make a loud sound, that will lure the suit out of your office. You uh. may have a small window of opportunity to react, so be quick about it. All right, I'll leave it up to you. Oh, and by the way, don't screw up any of our equipment. So, this game has audio alerts before what? FNAF 3 did. 
That is yeah, crazy. kinda crazy. <sighs> Hi baby cat, you wanna sit? Wander's so cute. Love Wander, you. Wander's so good, everyone love him. Yeah, I care this little guy. He was sitting on Hazel's lap a minute ago and he looked so cute. No. I'm not gonna lie, chat. Wonder is good. This game is four by three, so I'm gonna use that to my advantage and put a little a little creature in the margins. <laughs> I wish there was a way for me to set up a wander cam, but my webcam is in my desktop computer, so there's no way to really point it at him. Wander, what do you think of Pickle? Do you want her to be your sister? Do you want her to be your foster sister? Look at her. Look at her, tell me what you think. Can his dumb little eyes see her? Probably not, they're too goopy. Oh. Who would win in a fight? Uh... Pickle for sure. Pickle's been outside. Wonder's fucking little cushy ass can't even fucking wipe his own nose. Oh, we did not announce that part. No, we didn't. Um, if Should everything, we? I mean, you just kind of did. I was just joking around. It's up to you, Hazel. <laughs> I mean, it's just a hypothetical anyway, so. We can mention it. I don't see any harm in it. I'm gonna put the tip pad next to Pickles because I think she would like it. Yeah, they're kind of cousins. Oh, Wonder, don't leave me. You're cute. Lay down. Lay down. <laughs> that fucking thing. No signal. Hazel got got by the peeker. May got pe- Oh my fucking goodness. Not gonna lie, Twitch.tv chat room. I tripped on the cable. <laughs> Bimbo moment. I'm not a fucking guy. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Look into your heart, you know it to be true. Wonder, are you a happy cat? Mm. Chat, I am I am not Moe. <laughs> I feel like Wander is the first cat I've had who like actually understands what being kissed means. Aww. Like, I've had cats that kind of, you know, they, they tolerate it, but I feel like he leans up when I when I move to kiss him, and yeah. he, like, is happy when I have kissed him. He understands what it, like, cult culturally means. <laughs> like, he takes joy from being kissed in a way that I think my other cats have not understood it, but tolerated it. Do you think anyone's ever called him uh, Donald Fuck instead of Donald Duck? I think that's like an untapped. Ayo, ayo. <laughs> Is the puppet considered in the same league as Oboa and W.D. Gaster? Not at all, uh, because we know basically literally everything about the puppet. The puppet is probably one of the FNAF yeah. characters that we know. The most about he is pro it he one of those it depends on what we're talking about. A uh, puppet is mm -hmm. the the FNAF character that we know the most about. Period. Yeah. Thanks, Sans Pro. Thank you, Sans Pro, for one cent. <laughs> Two cents total thus far. That's a that's a Pope Undertale money. Yeah. Yeah. They originally wanted to call him Donald Puck. 
Yeah, that's true. It's very funny. So, I mean, the puppet is probably actually possessed by a girl. Yeah. But the puppet as a character in and of itself, I think, like, the, fel like the, the puppet felt and mask a is a boy. Yes. The soul yeah. is a girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit! There's my there's my little cracker boy. Ah! I don't think you can say that. What's wrong? I don't think you can say that on Twitch. You could say it if you're white. I. Can you? Look, I'm just saying this because I want you to be able to monetize this fun. <laughs> I feel like I acted as fast as I could have. Is that something I was doing wrong? Uh, five nights at Treasure Island. Walk there are 12 variations of this game. You'd have to look up 1.0 demo. Oh, God. Hiding only has a 50 50 chance of succeeding, so don't hide very often. I do not think hiding is in this version of the game. Okay. If you suspect that any costume isn't at their starting location, simply shut off one of the cameras. Fucking forgot there's an entity in this game called Suicide Mouse. Video games rock. <laughs> I love the name Old Man Consequences. He should have two sons named Fuck Around and Find Out. What synonyms for consequences? Sorry, my, my joke was almost there. Mm -hmm. Synonyms for consequences. Milfy Mama repercussion. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> what do you mean? I I just simply don't know about that. Milfy Mama repercussions? I don't know about that. Oh my god, is my chest caving in? What? I just tapped my chest lightly and it hurts. <laughs> it's like bony. Oh my god, hold up. Are you okay? Oh, hold up, there's my webcam on. Do I need to turn around? Hold up, hold up. Oh, wow. <laughs> Weird. There's like a like there's like a really I have like a baby soft spot in the middle of my chest. <laughs> oh god. Huh. Huh indeed. It's not like a heart attack. It's not like a heart attack. It's not like Yeah, I'm okay, I think. I'm just confused. Ever tell you about the time I went to the doctor because I thought I had breast cancer? No. I felt like the stupidest motherfucker alive. What did okay, you so have? Don't, ever, don't let this story ever deter you from going to the doctor if you suspect there's something wrong with you. Yeah. That said, I... <laughs> I... How do I tell this story without telling chat too much about myself? That's what I was also struggling with, with this thing I just was talking about. Um, 
I hate checking for breast cancer because I am sensitive. I guess I'll put it that way. Yeah. Uh, so I was doing one for the first time in a long time, like a self check. And I was like, oh my God, what is this strange hard lump on me? Like, it's definitely not on the other side. There's like a strange lump for sure. Uh, so I asked to go to the ER. I go to the ER and the doctor is like, all right, let's get you checked. And she checks me like very thoroughly. And she's like, I don't, I don't see anything or feel anything. Like, where do you mean? I'm like, it's this right here, this hard thing. And she's like, that is your rib. And I'm like, oh. no, because it's not like that on the other side. Like, I felt it, like, in the same exact spot on the other side, and it's totally different. And she was like, well, your skeleton isn't perfectly symmetrical. Fucking me as fuck. Why did I say I it like that? I just felt so fucking stupid because it was like, of fucking course my skeleton isn't symmetrical. Why did I think that? <laughs> I, 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 like, literally cannot look too close at myself in the mirror or I will notice <laughs> that one of my shoulders is slightly sloped below the other one and then I will just want to yeah, die for the too. next 24 hours. Mine too. <laughs> so I felt super stupid. I, I mean, I just genuinely feel like I had never noticed that particular rib jutting out in that particular spot. Every time like, I am reminded of the my personal human body's asymmetricalness, I want to die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I wish I could just fucking pull up the fucking Sims character creator, just to, like tweak it a little bit. Yeah, but yeah, I was so embarrassed. It was embarrassing enough to have to come to that realization from the doctor. But at the time, I don't know if I like didn't have access to a car or something. Holy but shit, I had it's to Mickey ask Mouse. I had to ask my mom to take me to the doctor for me. Oh, uh, And, like, my whole family was worried about me, so everyone came along. Yeah, because everyone uh, thought that you had tick cancer. Yeah, and so I had to walk out into that waiting room and be like, I'm fine, I'm just really stupid. Aw, you should have lied. <laughs> I should have lied, yeah. It's yeah, they said it's fatal. terminal. Sorry. It's fatal. I have one year left. I have the evil titties that hurt. <laughs> This wouldn't have existed back then, but I should have been like, I have one year left. We have to go to Mario World. <laughs> oh, my, my, I mean, my titties are killing me. I have to go see Mario. I have to I ride have on to the ocean ride. Mario. It's my final wish. Everybody need that Mario titty makeup wish. <laughs> this stream is great. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pickle's doing great. <gasps> Pickle's doing great. And there goes great. the webcam. And there goes the webcam. There she is. <laughs> Mario has to give the eulogy. <laughs> I'm gonna wake up tomorrow with like a fucking Centralia, Pennsylvania hole in my chest. Just this fucking smoke pit leading into hell. <laughs> All right, this is for May and for Chat. If you had to have one fictional character give a eulogy at your funeral, who would it be? Fuck, fuck, that's fucking insane. <laughs> I am trying to think of what is the funniest or what is like the- Hello Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Olimar, you guys are all giving characters who don't talk. Goku? That would be pretty good. Travis Touchdown would fucking kill a eulogy. <laughs> Kaiko? I don't know who that is. QAnon? Dojima. He'd probably give a pretty decent one. He probably has to give eulogies a lot. He's in the Yakuza. Holy shit, there's a girl! Oh, you're right. Only Marta's talk. In my mind, he doesn't. Phone, he phone, just call, makes phone sounds. call, phone call, phone call. Oh, sorry ready it hasn't been shipped in yet so we're still waiting we basically want you to collect data for us when we come over there it'll be easier to maintain everything oh and also Eric as always has left out some details from his last message he said that the photo negative suit can't see but it can it can see but not too well 
So do not make any noise if you have to. That would be a really bad idea. Also, I don't think he told you about Oswald. And you're not gonna like this. The Oswald suit was never finished, but it's said to walk around just like the other suit. But the thing is, is that his colors and textures were never finished, so he's really black. Which means he can't be seen that easily. I'm not Where sure if you he? can do anything about him, but I doubt he'll be a problem since he has no arms. But if he starts becoming a nuisance, then just shut off your cams like you do it, would do for Mickey. That should do it. But, alright. I wish you luck. Bro, he's whispering sweet nothings in my ear. Yeah, I don't like it. That's like the first scary thing in one of these games that isn't a jump scare. <laughs> Kirby, Osaka, Jerma, Makima. I can only imagine what kind of shit Kawaii do. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I can only imagine what kind of shit Kawaii would say at a eulogy. Alyssa was There's... the hope that. I, I give up. I give up. I give up. I'm sorry. Ew. I tried. I tried. I tried. I think Vector the Crocodile could fucking rock a eulogy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think, I think something that couldn't talk would be funniest. Like, it would still have to give a eulogy, because it still cares- it still cared about my life, but like... Like, Clucky the fucking bird, like, what is it gonna do? Go, like, just chirp into the mic a little bit, but like, chirp sadly? I want to make a, a, a creature try really hard to express its love for me, but fail because it doesn't know English. I like that. I don't actually have an answer for my own question. I just wanted to see what kind of answers y'all gave. Snoopy would act out a eulogy and it would be the most, like, insane performance. So do you ever think what you're gonna say? <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Wait, what do you mean? Never mind. What? What? Do you ever think about... No, that's bad, actually. Never mind. What? No, no, it's, ahead, it's not funny. Ahead. It's not funny, bad. It's just bad. I I want to hear it all the more though. No, bro, Walter, stop whispering in my fucking ear. Buy me dinner first. Yeah, dude, he's like nibbling on your earlobe. Wait, between whose boobs? Hold up, scroll up. Oh, sorry. What? Cool. I saw the words dying in between someone's boobs, and after me and Hazel's- or sorry, me and Alyssa's most recent conversation, <laughs> I got scared. <laughs> no, it's okay, I trust you. I believe that you're not talking about us. <laughs> Heavy from TF2? I, I, I'm not brushed up on my TF2 lore, but isn't Heavy, like, canonically, like... Like, a Russian literature, <gasps> like... Like, he has a... PhD in it or something. Okay, cool. I'm glad I'm not just making that up. So he probably wouldn't be able to give a very good eulogy in English, but he could give a killer one in Russian. He tries hardest. One night you're crazy. One night you're crazy. Man, 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 I'm sorry. I think Rivers why do you have a... could be really good at my funeral. Why do you have something plugged into your computer called a rectile dysfunction? Uh, it is <laughs> called a rectile disc function, and it is the hard drive. Parentheses, but hard. Because it's a hard drive? Uh, because it was the disc that I put in my computer but didn't actually activate for a year so it was there but it couldn't get hard erectile disc function I make myself laugh I make myself laugh I make myself laugh chat member I did that in Gmod as well I used I, I tweeted about it or rather I tweeted some art from it um, I used it as reference for drawing TF2 Yowie. So let's appease the spider. 
<laughs> what? What is this? Oh, you know. Is this a FNAF end game? Uh, no, but it is by the guy that made the, uh, the, the other game. Which other game? Crazies. Oh, okay. Well, this one's got graphics and stuff. Yeah, uh, can you check the spreadsheet? This is Appease the Spider. I'm not too sure when it released. Oh. Because I might be playing this out of order accidentally. This came out in... 2014. Cool. It came out the same month as One Night Two Crazies. Yes, he also has a photo from his game Real Scary. <laughs> That's them. Why does he have so much wine? Every straight married couple has like a vineyard's worth of wine in their Whoa. kitchen. What is what is this? Oh my god, I can see myself. Oh. Oh. Got a fucking head like a... Uh... The cat is Pickle. What is his name? A History of Arachnophobia. Forward by Chris and Tony. So did Real Scary come out first? I feel like I might have accidentally forgot to put on Real Scary on the, the spreadsheet. Did I put real scary on? Um. I have it downloaded. I just might not have actually put it on the spreadsheet. Yeah, it's not on the spreadsheet. So sad. So sad. Also, I think I just punched my mic a little oh, bit. Oh my Sorry god, about... it's the spider! Oh! Hello. Seems <laughs> your home, our home, is now haunted. Not sure what happened, but it must be your fault. Fetch me what some is the things. Lore here? And I'll fix our ghost problem, then return to the bed. Wh what? Are we like in a dumb sub relationship with the spider? Maybe we're the hockey guy. Maybe this is a <laughs> fucking direct sequel. Yeah, maybe we're wrong. Maybe the spider was not lesbians. Maybe the spider and the hockey guy were the yaoi all along. Lesbians can love boys sometimes. What? I don't know what I meant by that. <laughs> maybe when they're fictional. Well, this maybe it's we have like a like a like a V three at the end where it's revealed that this is all taking place within the one night two crazies. <laughs> What if this is toxic, Yuri? <laughs> I yeah, I mean, like... maybe the hockey guy is just a stone butch. Mm. <laughs> so... Why is the spider telling us what to do? I don't understand. I'm getting walked like a dog by a fucking spider. <laughs> but it has cameras, so it is kind of Five Nights at Frederick's esque. I guess so. It, it says that there's spooky, scary ghosts, but I actually have not seen one yet. Makima spider. Ah, oh, speaking of burger, I'm gonna heat up my leftover burger. Be right back. Thanks, Mrs. Spider. I assume the spider is a woman. Maybe maybe it's a man, but it'd be less fun if it was. Are there ghosts in this room? <gasps> ah!
Ah, uh, ah, uh, scary, 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 scary. How, how do I... Get fucked, you stupid idiot. Is there a reason the YouTube clips go up at midnight? It is because it is the easiest time to schedule them. Uh, ah! You have to click more to schedule them at any other time. So I just scheduled them for midnight. It is lazy, it is stupid, it is bad, but it is what I do. I think a piece the spider had. I, I think I'm good. I'm back. Did you get killed by the scary? I did get killed by the scary. Did you not appease the spider? I did actually appease the spider until I couldn't anymore. No. That's all we can do. I kind of want to see what's good with real scary and then we can uh, close this real good stream out. Mm -hmm. The fragmented mind. <laughs> That's kind I've of a cute little thing. forgetting screen. and my therapist is happy with my progress. Of course, she doesn't know that I lied about the root cause. There's an NES in his room. There is an SNES in his room. <laughs> there is a Xbox 360 in this room. Oh my god. Oh my god, the amount of clicking you have to do to rotate. There is someone's PhD in that case. You took so many photos for these. Yeah! Eh? <gasps> oh. <laughs> Was it you? I really like this. Dude! <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> the scary walked away. <gasps> Can someone unreverse that? Oh, was there audio? Yeah, he he said something reversed. <laughs> ah! <laughs> that was the spider again. I must not let him back in my head. Wait, that stuffed bear. I've seen it before. It belonged to the last. <gasps> no! <laughs> oh, dude, it's the, it's the ball from fucking Two Crazies. <laughs> That's the laptop. Oh, dude, I'm having so much fun. Yeah, this is great. I fucking love this. Farmer finds nine bodies in a mass grave. <laughs> All nine bodies have been confirmed by dental records as being missing females ranging in age from 19 to 64. Police are baffled by a stunning lack of evidence and have linked four of the nine women to cold cases as old as 30 years ago. Whoa. Kind of raw as fuck. Oh, dude, I love the fucking color change here. <laughs> like, look at the shit. Look at. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <gasps> Is there going to be a head in here? I knew it. <laughs> so that was her name. Mary. Now she plays in my head just like he does. Maybe the others will start appearing as well. I'll just double my dose and hope for the best. Dude!
I just pressed F to fucking dry my body off with a towel. Call of Duty, <laughs> eat your fucking heart out. I got so excited because I thought that pile of clothes was a cat for a second. Aww. Dude. Oh. Oh my god. Yes! Aww, cool. Everyman hybrid fucking who? My house don't want fucking who? Oh. Dude. <laughs> I love video games so much. Oh, the color's different. Oh my god, it's so Oh scary. my god. <laughs> I am in agony. Confused and in pain. Leave me alone, spirits. I didn't hurt you. He did. Oh. oh spider! Spider! Spider Pog! <laughs> Dude, real scary has kind of been the standout of the night. Yeah, I fucking love this. It's very, uh... Not at all a FNAF fan game, but I don't give a shit. <laughs> I also think it's I, close I, enough. I think I own this blanket. What are you Not the to exact do same, but almost the exact same. I think I'm just supposed to be, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no, it's so scary. Oh, hide. Oh, I gotta my go God. into that corner. He's literally in a screen. Oh, mask. my Jesus. No, no, no. This is not <laughs> what I remember. I know I ran and hit each time he appeared. Bye, Valen. Oh, my God. Bye. Oh, my God. I am in pure fucking bliss playing this game. <laughs> Are you gonna be able to hide in time? Yeah, I'm gonna click the door and then he's gonna be like. Boogity boogity. Oh my god, they recorded oh, a I different see, jump I scare see. for him on the bed. Oh that my is, god. Dude, this is. Uh, I. Are video games good? Like, actually, like, this is, uh, because I think video games are good. Like, really good. <laughs> I love when I play the most fucking bizarre oddball indie shit that has been remembered by, like, 20 people at max. And it's not, like, some fucking, fucking shitty it's fucking... I, uh, I love when I play something and it just hits mm. me on my fucking basis, base senses. And I'm like, oh, this rocks. Like, this is what a lot of good low budget horror feels like, but but a but like a video game. Is he wearing Crocs? There you go. Oh, into the corner. Cool. Perfect. <laughs> God, I feel a loss of time. <laughs> he must have taken control again. If I see another spirit, I'll know that he is killed again. Yeah, man, sure. I like don't have much commentary for this because I'm just I'm I'm just smoking. I'm just smoking. This is like if baby binkies were made of like 
I am feeling slower. It, I, this is like this is like a uh, gay person catnip. <laughs> is it? For me, it is. We got another discount Walmart Halloween mask. I wouldn't be happy if it wasn't. <laughs> Night swag. Swag is for men. And I said that like really solemnly. <laughs> like it was a funeral. It sounded like the clip of Shinji. Where he goes, I am myself. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I must get out of here and find my therapist as soon as possible. Dude, just recording what's happening in your... Please don't make me play chess. Please don't make me play chess. <laughs> I can't do this again. No, no, no. Please not again. Please not again. I'll play for you. I think you're just putting that piece over on the table onto the board, though. <gasps> Wait, is there a scary... Ah! Oh my god. No! <laughs> Man, I fucking love video games. That actually scared me. Really? Yeah. Oh. Grab you. Cool. Puzzles for babies. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is, like, a video, but not. Mmm. Because some of this feels like pictures in stop motion, but some there's, 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 like, audio for some of this. Yeah. And not all of it is Foley. Like, some of the audio is clearly in camera. Yeah. We on our Goo Goo Gaga Gorn set? Is this so much later because the bear is stained pink with the blood? <laughs> he won. It could have been days, it could have been months, but I woke up eventually in my own bed. God, I want to make weird fucked up horror visual novels after I finish Love in a Bottle. Literally. Werewolf scary. I was spoiled though because two somewhat recent Yuri games came out. Like horror Yuri that Ooh. I really liked. One was called um It Gets So Lonely Out Here, I think. And the other one was called I don't wanna get the name wrong. called Amelie. I really like that one. Support fucked up Yuri. Truthfully. Hide when you see the wolf. <laughs> there he is. Me when I see the wolf. That jump scare is actually pretty scary. I can this game kind of rocks. Like the gameplay sucks, but it, it yeah, but it rocks. How are you supposed to hide? 
Uh, so basically, I just have to randomly press one of the good keys. Also, that jump scare is actually really good. Like, it's teeth coming out at you. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? I was unfamiliar with your game. This reminds me that I also really wanted to make a visual novel using, like, a horror visual novel using, like, paper cutouts. Like, yeah. Like, like essentially making little paper sets and using photos of a oh, paper dude. <laughs> set as backgrounds. Would the everyone... jump scares be scary or motion? I don't think so. I don't think so either. I think everyone should give me and my friend Alyssa all of money. Yeah. Give me $50,000 so I can spend a year doing nothing but making video games. <laughs> Give me like two thousand. I could live off two thousand. <laughs> I'll take some blood. Yeah, sure, why not? You could, like, what, what, what can you do, blood? I am so excited to get the sexy spider somewhere in this thumbnail. <laughs> like, I'm thinking about this thumbnail, and it's like... It's gonna be a complicated one. This is probably gonna be the hardest one. I pressed D. Ah. This part is hard. Yeah. What does veins are open, queens, mean? Because because the the blood joke. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I don't know why, but I immediately thought that that was some kind of like <laughs> brand new social media. <laughs> what? brand new social media called Veins. What the fuck, Alyssa? I don't know. They've been stupider, right? Have they been? Dude, you sang that like like perfect like one, two, three notes. <laughs> Thanks. You were like, have there been? But like a whole octave higher. I'm trying to imagine like at Oreo posting on a social media named Veins. And it's not <laughs> coming to no, me. No, I don't know. <laughs> like I could even imagine like, like Oreo wouldn't be posting on, on X because they, want, they posted on Twitter. X just came later. But like... Even then, like if I saw if I saw Oreos at at the X function, I'd be like, "All right, that's weird, but it it makes sense." <laughs> if I saw at Oreos tweeting at me about the Mario Oreos on a website named Veins, I would actually think I'm gonna get murdered. <laughs> like it'd be a cryptic ARG leading to my death, where I'm like fucking stuffed into Oreo paste. Five nights at Oreos. <laughs> Did I do good? Yeah, I liked it. Thanks. It was funny. Thank you. Yeah, and I thought it was unique. Mario would kill that eulogy. Let's go! Oh my god, there's, there is a God of War sticker, not God of War, sorry, <laughs> Gears of War sticker on this, uh, thing. Horrific images of people he has murdered are flooding my mind. The body in the bed before, that was my therapist. What? <laughs> oh, Rogue Party is one of their other games, that's so cute. <laughs> Dear Chris, you didn't come to brunch today. Is everything okay? I remember you said you'd be a little late, but we waited an hour before going home. 
Your father hasn't been feeling well, so you should see him more. Let me know if you can make the next brunch, and I hope everything is okay. Love, Mom. You've inherited one-eighth of the Highness's fortune. Please give us your banking account and password so we can repay you. Reply now, or another relative gets it. <laughs> your last incident... The police did what today? Your last incident came very close to violence. After reviewing the security footage, we feel that you are a danger to your therapist and other staff at whole living. Please do not return to the premises or the police will be called. Do not contact your therapist for any reason or a restraining order will be obtained. This decision is final. Whole living security. Damn, this MF can't even get therapy. I also thought I was going to say Whole Foods. Oh, hi. Won't be hard for the police to figure out I'm a suspect in my therapist's murder. God, I'm in so much pain. Bro, what's happening? I think that this person is, like, sharing their body with a murderer. Demenza's gate lore. <laughs> oh my god, they're doing the fucking sister location, uh, like, a fun time foxy night. The lore night. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ahead of the curve. I like how they cut up a, a, a stuffed animal because they because Xbox wouldn't have allowed like even fake gore. Bro, why he like going cuckoo caca crawling on the floor? Yeah. The floor? I like this. This game is cool. It really is. This level of fucking crawling on the floor desperation is how some of y'all bitches act when you see a moderately attractive, uh, what's a good punchline? Anime boy? Um, yeah, sure. A moderately attractive, over-designed PNG. Yeah, I think that's great. A long-haired anime boy that you have to pay money to own in, in... A non-material sense. Oh, oh yeah, what are we is, setting this on This is fire? definitely just video. I think it's like his case file. Mm. Or it's his taxes. <laughs> oh, so we're clearing ourselves of murder. Mm. While also murdering our the, like, the evil part of ourselves. Oh, he kicked my fucking ass. <laughs> that was a rhythm heaven game. It. Oh my god, it was. One, two, three, ba. Literally, I. Bitch. Doing the rhythm heaven joke made it work. <laughs> I suppose splat. Oh fuck, it's the scary! Oh, oh bro got a shit beat in! <laughs> bro. Oh, no. Here is my song. Oh yeah, just for you. I swear to god, if I have to do this fucking loop again. <laughs> He's probably taken over again. Probably disposed of the body too. I don't care about going to jail anymore. I have to call for help. <gasps> oh, we got paint everywhere. He's making like little comedy crying noises. Is he? Yeah. I need to know because like I know he's being haunted by like Dude, this type of oh this type of like huh? basement or sorry, attic like a uh, like loft room with a bed and like a <laughs> Oh 
I'm so jealous. I've always wanted like a cool loft bedroom. The wolf is monologuing about all the women we've killed together. Oh, okay. I think this is Yuri. I can't hear him at all. I'm sorry. It's so quiet. That's not how you hold a knife. Wait, am I- it- wait. Real- <gasps> Is this about to do what I think it's about to do? Hmm? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my goodness. What other game? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, that's that's cute. If I went faster, I wouldn't have to kill myself. Huh? Maybe. No! What? All the way from the beginning. What are uh, you supposed to do faster? I guess just the game in in general. That's bullshit. I probably could swing it, but I'm also tired. I'm tired. What's this game called? Real, Real scary? scary? It's not even on the spreadsheet, sadly. Real scary true ending. I doubt anyone's done it. If you find it. No. Real scary game YouTube. No. <gasps> <laughs> Why are the raving rabbits here? Ah, uh, you know. Yeah, this game is an SEO nightmare. Is that rabbit going to be there in the bottom left corner this entire time? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I can't find any gameplay videos of this game. Alright. Oh, oh the, the, the rabbit also killed itself. Oh, oh, but I- wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, I think they got a different... Hang on, yeah. I think the rabbit went to heaven. Maybe? The fact that the rabbit is factually there, this entire video, it's pretty funny. So what, you wake up in a snowy... You are now whole again. The rest of your days will be spent atoning for what he did. Thank you so much, Raving Rabbits 21. Oh my god, that's so stupid. That's all? That's the only difference? Where are we? Thank you, Raving Rabbits 21. So, well, that was fun. I next, enjoyed that game. Next stream is going to be tackling FNAF 2 proper. Uh, probably playing a few of the FNAF games like Wario's, Sonic, um, and realistically gearing up to start FNAF 3 and all the fan games around it. I don't know when yeah. that stream will be because me and Hazel are going to be busy this next month and Alyssa is going to be in I'm the I'm also going to mine. be insanely busy this month. Um, but we'll see. I'm Thank five you all nights. so much for coming. And I'm Freddy's. And, uh. Or, 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 or,